Okay, let's do it. If Vito's happy, I'm happy. I'm happy. And Adam. we're live. Happiness is relative. Oh, now we're live? <laughs> now we're live. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're live. You want to go delete the tweet and retweet it? No, no, no. So they no, can't no. bust you? We're not. Oh, I screwed up the, uh, I did screw up Check the it. first tweet. I'm bad <laughs> at time zones. Why don't you just delete it and try it? Why don't you just pay eight bucks? I did just pay eight bucks, actually. After I tweeted it, I was like, why don't I pay eight bucks so I can edit my tweets? Yeah. And now I can. Oh, is that what you get to do? Yeah, well, not really, though. It's, do you actually get to edit them, or does it just give you, like, 30 a minutes. buffer? You get 30, you get 30 minutes, minutes to edit, to edit. Tweet. and after that, you might as well kill yourself. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, yeah. So the biggest problem, uh, it says it's going to take a day or two, but we should have the check mark. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! We're so important. <laughs> oh, you actually did it? On the Just for the show one, because then the show one looks legitimate, you know? Whatever. It's Are you a, gonna charge us for that? Yeah, you're. That's coming out of the show fund. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> did you do it electronically, or did you actually write out a personalized check? I should have wrote a check to Mr. Elon Musk. That would yeah. be good. Are you pro Elon, or do you hate him, Adam? What's your? Oh, I can't. St- oh, I can't stand him. Me either. I fucking hate. I him. liked him I, at I, first, and it's like, but you know what? He's the evil villain we all deserve. It's like everyone thinks it's going to be Bond villain. Like, I'm really smart, and I have a really developed plan, and I know yeah. what to do with my millions. No, we, we get the, the, the none too bright offer Connor, who is just like, is, is just like blah, 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 blah. you're a pedophile, and I'm going to buy you. <laughs> Pedophile, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He reminds me I mean, of it's like, it, it, it's like if Octodad was a billionaire, yeah, yeah. It would be Elon Musk. Have you seen the weird like pregnancy cult that he's in with his dad? Like he's just trying to knock up as many women. Like when he says that humanity needs to go to the stars, he's kind of talking about like his semen. Oh yeah. Like that's like the connection that he's making. He's knocked up like all of his secretaries. His dad knocked up some little girl that he raised. It's really fucked up. There's a there's, there's actually there was a I think a two. Harder on Law and Order Special Victims Unit that was about a dude who did that. And I believe the Olivia character referred to him as a serial impregnator. He just wants to make I a million I should go back kids. and watch that. Because he's one of these guys who thinks he's so brilliant that, like, it's his duty to make a bunch of, like, yeah. psychopath kids named X595 <laughs> Dash Star he's Child. rolling them off the lot. Yeah. He should just buy a fertility clinic. <laughs> that would be pretty. Yeah, that would be a good. You know what? When, when, when the kids start exploding, it's going to be even more entertaining. <laughs> All right, let's do the show. Let's do Everybody, it. Everybody, welcome to the show. Here we yes. go. Welcome, Adam Sessler, to the show. That might be a little loud. I phoned in the audio stuff. Ah. Yes. <laughs> in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every. Problem in the universe from girls dropping DMs to feds leading insurrections. Shut up. How do you no like that feds. one, Vito? I came up with that rhyme. I'm your host, Nick Madison. Joining me as always, Vito Giswaldi. Hi. Joining us via satellites and fibers and electrons and technology is Adam Sessler. Oh, I'm here through technology? Yes. Apparently so. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Through the spirit of Elon, we have channeled you oh. onto the show. Gosh, I can feel it. I can. I. Oh, no, that's gas. I'm sorry. I thought that was Elon. It's just gas. How are you doing? I was a big fan of you. I, I kind of dropped off the last two years, but what have you been up to in that time? Wow. <laughs> this is two good ones, buddy. Wow. You know. Uh, no, I haven't been doing anything lately. Nothing's been um, happening. Yeah. I'm just here because uh, I like the name Vito. And I was like, there okay, you go. cool. Let's, let's check it out. What have you guys? Yeah, why am I here? Uh, well, that's a great question, I think. You know, why don't you, why don't you introduce Adam? Well, this is, of course, Adam Sessler. Uh, I can't call you a gaming I- gamer icon. No, 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 you just say that in the wheel. spend the right next 10 minutes what that is yeah. I once was. Uh, but me and Adam actually touched base because in the midst of uh, some of this... G4 came back as a television network Adam and was and not I. struggling. Adam yeah. and I. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel really so much better than someone else of my disposition. Yeah. You fucking grammar assholes. Anyway, 
in the midst of this, somebody reaches out and they tell me this thing, and it's like Adam Sessler may get fired from the network, whatever. So I put out a YouTube video that said Adam Sessler reportedly fired from G4, oh. and then I see a tweet from Adam, and he goes, hey, who's this asshole Italian Pepsi man on Twitter? And I go, oh, I fucked up. I did something bad. Well, <laughs> and, and, and the one thing I'll grant you is the other reason I'm here is because I said, you know, well, well you know, if, if it turns out to be true, yeah. uh, is – Whoever your source was was not completely correct. I was not fired in the window. Yeah, no. I wasn't fired. The, the, the network it seems ended. like they got it wrong. Actually. But they had things that were right. I'm not going to go into the particulars they had right or wrong because that's get weird. Yeah. But um, mm. uh, I was like, huh, this guy's interesting. And so I started following you and I was like, oh, well, hold on. I like this guy. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's very, one, very interesting. Few, I kind of said, if they fire me, I'll come on your show. You you, you deserve I, that much. Well, I appreciate that. It didn't that. really happen, but hell, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. No, I think my source, they, they had some stuff right, but it seems like it was kind of a whole weird, confusing mess over there. Everybody was reporting different things to different people. <laughs> weird, confusing mess is very, very accurate. Yeah. A lot of people were happy you got fired. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is that? Do you think it was the Wicker Man 2 or some shit like that? Um, yeah. I I, I have uh, built my career on upsetting idiots. Yeah. Uh, oh, me too. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I now call them gamers mm. uh, because I'm not one anymore. I've, 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 I've been oh. on the internet uh explaining that i'm not a gamer um i don't want to be associated with gamers yeah uh, uh, and that's all i've said and a lot and just kind of the same way when you say i like to punch nazis everyone's like oh my god that's so discriminatory something like that seems to be happening um and i'm loving every minute of it because i'm retired i love shit yeah you kinda, you're, you're in a who gives a shit situation it sounds like, like yeah. it sounds like you want to punch nazis fat. I don't know. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I'm <laughs> I'm older. I'm yeah. older, so I would rather hire someone to put the Nazi in front of. Yeah, okay. pay a guy to do it. You should yeah, pay Russian taxes. Hey, scale then. him up a tiny okay, bit. Okay, I think okay, he's okay, a little okay. smaller than us. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Well, I of course. I mean, when G4 came back, I remember thinking, "Well, this is interesting, but I don't know if it's the right time for this sort of thing." It kind of felt like. Yeah, I don't know. Like the gaming industry has moved on to a bunch of loudmouths and psychopaths that you almost can't do. Who are you talking about specifically when you say that? Uh, I'm not gonna. Who are you? <laughs> who are you talking about? There are certain people uh, who are considered my <laughs> colleagues on YouTube or whatever. Do they consider themselves your no, colleagues? No, I mean, do you guys really consider yourselves to be collegial? No, like, not at all. Intramural softball <laughs> events and stuff like that. No. But there is, there has been a trend of like just kind of a lot of these spaces have been taken over by pure assholes. So you kind of can't do any kind of like just boring, like not boring, but like wholesome content. It's like everybody's <laughs> thrives on pure negativity at this point. Yeah. What are yeah. you watching? Fucking uh, uh, Michael Landon home, the Angel just, Show. What are you is, talking this about? You watch thing. all that shit. Yeah, but this has been a thing. Here, turns out he was a dick. Oh, he was. When he was on Little House in the Prairie, apparently he was just absolutely horrendous <laughs> to his co stars. And like I I watched neither show, but even that, as a child of that era, I was like, Really? He was a dick. Everybody and I was a dick really worried that Bill Bixby, who was David Banner on the T V show, like something bad was gonna come out about <laughs> him because then that's just when the vortex opens up and, and when we all get sucked into it. <laughs> that would have shattered your your worldview. Yes, exactly. Yes, Bixby. yes. And I would have felt like a gamer for a moment <laughs> oh, if that happened. This is going to be the anti-gamer hour. Should I we think. put gamers on the? Um, is this Gamergate related? I don't. I remember when Gamergate came, oh, came God, out and people were like, oh, "Gamers, gamers this are like." I didn't know that. It's like I, I look. G four <laughs> collapsed. Yeah, a bunch of people I really like. Was it lost collapsed or did it, was it destroyed? <laughs> it was collapsed. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was. It was kind of like someone saw the plug, pulled it, it went away, and they're like, oh, "We might want to just keep that going." And some good uh, people lost their jobs. And some good people yeah. lost their jobs. Yeah. People I've really enjoyed working with, and there's all these jackasses who were celebrating. They considered it some political victory. They always do that. Yeah, there, there yeah. were like I have very open liberal leanings. I am actually not a Puritan progressive by any stretch of the you know the definition, but um, they were they are very angry. Uh, about kind of a a, a, a very well written soliloquy by uh, a, another one of the hosts on X Play, Frost, uh, defending you know, sort of 
women's presence in space and yeah. not having to be necessarily a, 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 a dancing monkey for the men. Uh, they got really angry about that. They decided that had to be the reason that the whole thing fell apart. <clears throat> yeah, well, um, they, ma- they make yeah. these very simplistic assumptions where it's obvious there was a lot of problems going on at the network. And to try and boil it down and go to, well, one lady <laughs> said some stuff. <laughs> She and said that made, a lot of it, stuff. Okay, but that's not the one thing that buried the network. Also, that happened in a February. Right. Yeah. And it kept going for. And it for... collapsed in an October. Right. So yeah. it was kind of like some very slow acting poison that got put into the goulash. I'll be honest that with everyone you. Everyone was eating. I think that I think what she did was. I mean, I, I I'm a legendary misogynist, a historical. <laughs> I'll go down in the history books as one of the internet's greatest misogynists. And I thought, oh, what's what your she, name? I actually don't know you. Dick Masterson. <laughs> I wrote the book Men Are Better Than Women. I was on Dr. Phil as the world's greatest misogynist. This was what, all of in the past. I thought, Stop scaring I thought our what guests. Frost did and said was great because everyone got so pissed off. I think if there would have been content to back it up, like or if like the internet hadn't moved on from that kind of content, it would have been a huge success. That's just what I that's what I thought at the time, and I still think it. If if the internet had moved on from what? For like a different yeah. kind of a different kind of content. Like it's just not the way it was back. Uh, I don't know when when I remember G four. Like when I think G four. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, I think I I I I, I, I think there's some merit there. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, look how about this things go? As we probably are yeah, I mean, we're going to talk so about a couple different yeah, things. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, it, 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 it needed more time to find its direction, and that time really wasn't available. Yeah, that's not how the internet not works. anymore. That's that's kind of where I would say a lot. And it of kind of seems stuff. like <laughs> it was one of those things where the network like just pumped way too much money into it way too quickly. Like if it had had gone slower at first and found its ground and then you start sinking money Look, into we it. we could have done it correctly. Yeah, That's basically all I give Me us a network. <laughs> what, what Vito's kind of describing is getting laid your first time and we should have been doing it more like a seasoned veteran. A, a, a yeah. Will Chamberlain, if you may. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Slow. All right, let's 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 uh, review the problems from last let's week recap. and see who won. Yes. This is uh, the most important part of the show. e is won. Okay. Last well, week. That's Salvo pancakes. That's a stupid problem. This drama. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't like that. Whatever. Uh, gimmick Twitter accounts came in second. Adam, do you like gimmick? Do you have any favorite gimmick Twitter accounts? Other than mine, what are they? Like, like God. Uh, uh, lib- oh, liberals like, posting God, their I don't think that. Is there anywhere? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's um, uh, the, the one I love is Los Feliz Daycare. Okay, I haven't seen that one. It's a great comedy account. It's There's some that are good. Your problem yeah. was convoluted because you didn't bring any examples of the bad ones. More criticisms of me <laughs> from last uh, false flag flags. The last one we never really figured out what that one was about. Fox. That one is how you guys <laughs> keep telling me that everything is a federal plot. <laughs> And like you have nothing to back it up, and it's ridiculous. Adam, does the federal government lie or not? Yes or yes or no? They lie all the time. You know, back at in college, <laughs> in UCLA, they had a, I think they still have the same radio station that like it broadcast is like 15 blocks in, into Westwood. Uh, but I was part of a TV show, a, a radio show called "The Government Is Lying to You." Mm-hmm. So, um, thanks. yeah. Uh, Look, thanks. I don't think they lie is... all the time. They don't lie all the time. No, mm. no. I think state governments are actually far more pernicious in their lies than the federal government is. It's true. Uh, that it's, makes except, sense. For the, uh, except for the military. I think they're, they're, they're not exactly. Uh, uh, let's see. Stoy says, find someone who simps for you as hard as Vito simps for the federal government. What do you just, think about that? You guys that? can't say everything is a federal plot. Some well, you, things no one's going to stop us. Happens. No one's going to stop us from saying that, actually. Our our rights, my buddies died face Everyone down in the muck. Everyone on January 6th was not secretly working for the government. Everyone on both sides was working Alaska. for the government. The guys Whatever. in the government, so the guys attacking the government. <laughs> I like, like, yeah, but like, was anyone like sending him like pornographic images of like James Madison or anything like that? Like an actual Federalist to get them all riled like, up. I, like I was trying to do some American Revolution humor here. Early. <laughs> Apparently, it was all suit. it was all guys dressed up as Antifa, and they're all secret <laughs> yeah. plants. Yeah, oh, I know. This is bullshit. Yeah. You're an idiot. It fucking was. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Heinrich too says, Vito, please clip the Andrew Tate call to prayer bit. I know you hate it, but it was the funniest <laughs> call to prayer since the first I one. I will consider clipping it. What do you think? It. Do you think Andrew Tate is uh, the greatest uh, man on the internet or just a great man on the internet? You <laughs> <shut up>. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, do, did something happen with Tate today? He, I mean, I know he's in jail in Romania and stuff like that. All the court but... stuff is leaking, and it's, like, hugely damning. It's like him promising yeah. to marry women, and then they show up in Romania, and he goes, actually, you're my slave, after they've spent, like, all yeah. their personal money moving yeah. to Romania, you know? Yeah. But also, That's against the law. You can't do that. But, but yeah. I, I, I guess the other part of it is, I mean, look, I don't think very highly of the man at all, uh... I mean, I think he's probably the gamer of rapists. Uh, but <laughs> Wait, the, the gamer of rapists? Like, everybody yeah. with a brain cell knows why single men go to Romania. And it's not for the goulash. It, it, it's, it's like, this guy makes such a public nuisance of himself while committing these crimes in, yeah. like, one of three countries <laughs> that yeah. is most associated with these crimes. Yeah. All he had to do I mean, was not like, be famous. Oh, God. He also could have just. Like... <clears throat> well, you bring wow. up a good point, Dick. Dick always brings up why didn't Andrew Tate just shut up and not yeah. make himself like a public just figure be a criminal and just collect all the money from all these women he's enslaved. Um, I'm saying at least do it in a country like a different country where it's yeah. like, oh, I wouldn't expect him to go to Bangladesh. Bangladesh and do that. That's a good one, actually. <laughs> That's not the one I had in my mind. All those... I had Samoa. And I'm like, maybe that does happen in Samoa. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's all over uh, the place, apparently. Okay, this is, uh, Adam says, the call-ins really derailed the show. The whole apology with Ethan Ralph was especially cringy. Why are two internet nobodies kissing and making up on Biggest we Problem? We got a lot of comments about the over... salvo call -in. I'm almost as inconsequential <laughs> as they are. First, first time I skipped through the show in a while. Oh. Adam, I don't know if you've ever felt like this, but a lot of people are blaming me for ruining something that they love. The <laughs> That's weird. The last show specifically. Wow, to take on and shoulder all that responsibility. I, okay, all I can say is uh, I am not the Adam that sent in this complaint. Oh, God. But I, am, I, I, I do like to think that I did write in Blaming a YouTube show for having something inconsequential on it. We have made <laughs> That's amazing. dozens of episodes. Uh, like, uh, Everybody feels the need. Because when I want game changers, I'm going to YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that Way Salvo to ruin called the show, in. Dick. I thought I thought Salvo talking about women drinking his piss would be funny at the one hour mark of the show. Yeah. I was wrong. I'm sorry that I did it. Oh well. <laughs> Okay. Never do it again. Okay, should we do? Are we? Uh, uh, is that problems? our voicemails? So you 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 won. Uh oh yeah I did. Congratulations uh, on winning. Yeah. So I go first because everybody believes that everybody's a federal agent. <laughs> Every yeah. single you accused me of being a yeah, fed. What does it hurt to just believe that everyone do, doing that I think stuff is a to, fed? At some point, accept reality. Accept that there really are maniacs who no. thought running into the Capitol and causing problems. Anyone? Also, I mean, okay. Here's my take. I'm blaming everything on the federal government and all of that. And this is going to come up in our discussion today. Good. Oh. It's like, why does everyone think they're so goddamn important that the feds know who they are? Exactly. I mean, it's 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 like no. They do, and I like, don't pay taxes. <laughs> they know who I am. Black helicopter <laughs> silently <laughs> rotating over your trailer. Come on, <laughs> my God. The, the feds were <laughs> really <laughs> trying to influence baked. What baked the last? So both does. of you are feds, I guess. Is that what? Who's who's a, me and Adam yeah, are feds? Both you and Adam yes, Sessler are both feds. Yeah. Fantastic. All we right. took down G four for the grand plot of the government <laughs> for some yeah. reason. Okay, here's my just to, to, the government is trying to destroy the gamers. <laughs> All right, what's problem, your problem, Dick? It's uh, the gas stove ban. Yeah. Guys, how how are you going to light a cigarette on an electric stove? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can do it. <laughs> how? Can you? I don't actually how? know. Smash the cigarette into the coils? Yeah. And that, that, yeah, that, that, that is might so work. Dark. How young are the two of you? <laughs> that is so dangerous. Have I you know. never been in a car with a lighter? 
He's like got a, a good point. Liner? He's got a good point. Then that was this it's big. It's criminals that are heated. Adam, do you see all this hair? I can't lean over an electric stove and light a <laughs> cigarette. I'll light my fucking head you on put fire. Put a cigarette on it. You well pack a cigarette. You put it on it. It catches the edges of the paper. You. Like this that, is. And then you draw it in with the auto. Oh my. This is terrible. Children are going to go up. You expect everyone to do everything. (laughs) Oh, you're the gamers of smoking. (laughs) I love this bit. Children are going to grow up and look at a picture, an icon of fire, like they look at an icon of a floppy disk and go, what's that? Because they're taking taking the fire out of all of our houses, Vito. You and the Democrats (laughs) and the feds and the liberals are going into our houses and stealing our gas stoves so that when there's a giant powder out, power outage, we're all going to starve to death. Why would yes, you do this to us? We're doing it because the obese lesbian M&Ms are telling us to. Yes. That's what I learned. All yeah. the M&M ladies are, have gotten yeah. together, and they're all yeah. infiltrating our— hey, Why did you bring it? Okay, uh, look, I kind of get it. I like having a gas stove. Yeah. Uh, but is there why, uh, why are they getting rid of gas stoves? It's because of the environment? Because ca- uh, they cause autism or something? No, and that's children what I, I said. Because <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, you st- I stole that joke from you. You stole that joke from me. I got to watch my <laughs> steel I, 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 The other thing is, with, with, with the electric stoves, is I have always preferred a gas stove, because if you cook, you have a lot more control over your fire. You have so much control. Fire. Yes. Yeah. But... Uh, I live in San Francisco, and I live in apartments. Uh, yeah. And there's like you can only get electric. Like everything's moving over to electric. Uh, the quality of electric ovens has changed so much yeah. uh, that, like, actually, I like you can do. I, I'm not finding that it's nearly as limiting. Um, so I guess for people who are really upset, it really is about the gas. Well, so I might just them, be, I recommend yeah. playing with the little uh, knob thing there. It's it's a lot of fun to play with when you close the lid. <laughs> I just want to have like a stretch of about twelve days where I'm not told I can't have something that I'm perfectly fine with <laughs> and that I've had for forty years. Don't you have and- an electric oven though? No, it's gas. Is it gas? It's actually, and it's a huge pain in the ass every time. Does it have a broiler? It has a do you actually? Do you actually think someone's going to come to your house and take your oven? Away? Yeah, Ray Epp, Vito's probably going to open the door for them like the feds open the doors at the Capitol, (laughs) and they're going to storm inside (laughs) and take my gas oven away from me. Do you realize, like, how lame you would have to be? How long it would take for two dudes to come into your house and remove the gas oven? Like, this is, uh, like, a ninja operation that can occur, and you're just going to sit there huffing and puffing, trying to figure out how can I stop it. Well, they're gonna phase them out, right? So if you have a new house yeah, you'll, or you'll, whatever, you'll, new construction, you'll get a tax. You'll get a tax incentive. Yeah, there you go. Like the I want a tax incentive. I want my fucking stove. I just <laughs> well, want to yeah. keep. You took my pipe. You took you know my. You took I my regular showers. Imagine what can happen is you can keep your gas stove, and you're gonna get a nice big check, blue check mark. That we can put on the outside of your house. Yeah, that says yeah. this man what is I- polluting. What and- about the? What about all the power outages? Right? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to keep my, uh, how am I supposed to eat ramen? How am I supposed to get high and eat brownies? When you can't use your electric oven. I can't oven? use my electric well, oven during the so power outages. Like this, is, this is the gamer equivalent to like, <laughs> yeah, I can only buy my stuff on disc. Only on disc because I don't problem. know about this digital. Microsoft owns my living room. Why won't the government online. let me backfeed my uh, generator? I don't know. Here's the angle yes, you should have took. Yes, electric yes. stoves turn off when the power goes out. That's a problem. <laughs> we have a lot of power outages here. Because of gas. How much cooking do you do frequency. when the power goes off? Is Does cooking include telling my girlfriend what I want her to make for food tonight? Because <laughs> yes, I do a lot does. then in that case, <laughs> Vito. Thank cooking. you for asking. How much cooking do you do? I, uh, not as much as I could. Do you care about kids getting asthma? Because I don't. I don't have any kids in my bit. house. I don't know. Maybe. I don't fucking care. Here's here's why you screwed up this problem is you didn't bring in the racial aspect of it. Because the big hubbub over uh, the move from gas to electric is that Asian restaurants and Asian cuisine specifically <laughs> involve a lot of cooking over an open fire with the wok and everything else. This uh-huh. is serious. I read about this. Okay. So a lot of Asian restaurants in LA, they're saying all like I think they already put in this ban in California and they're saying all restaurants have to phase out ga- uh, uh, gas ovens first. Yeah. You know, so you know, you go to like Korean barbecue and you're cooking over a fire. 
yeah. they're gonna have to get rid of all that and a lot of the asian restaurant those tours, are real flyers sometimes they are depending well, on where you, what you go you okay i travel in places in cape town but there's a most of the places like they're trying to offer these smokeless uh korean barbecue are and they? like there might be a flame to an extent but it's being controlled by electricity but it's, Look, I don't know what's in there, but they still cook over a wok. It's a big part of it. Why are you being racist, Adam, towards the Asian what? community? We love their uh, <laughs> delicious cooking. And their all I know is all of a of sudden a million people know why we have to get rid of gas stoves yesterday <laughs> who had never mentioned it before this. And all of a sudden we're doing it. We're doing more shit for children that I feel like I did enough I do for. Agree doing and the morning for the of July of children is wrong. I'm I'm with both of you on this. I am so tired of the children, or as I call them, <laughs> gamers. Uh, <laughs> Don't you want more gamers yeah. to have asthma, Adam? Because this is how we do this. I'm saying oh, we put more gas stoves in every to get house. The gamers' asthma <laughs> and chicken pot, <laughs> rubella. I love them to get rubella and scarlet fever. I mean, all 19th century afflictions to befall gamers. I love this bit. I'm popping. Yeah. I'm bringing gas lines to every nur every hospital like, nursery in the country. I like this. How about this? Think of like the orchestra and the violins playing, and that you see a gamer and they've got a handkerchief, and they're like, <coughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of blood in it, and then you see this other couple over there, and they're like, oh, a gamer. It's one of them. Team. Uh, yeah, the, the consumptive player. Here's the solution to the gas stove problem epidemic of, yeah. of, of asthma and autism or whatever it's causing. Just open a window. Mm. That's everybody. Just, I agree. The government is always legislating too window. much. Wait. This is maybe Wait, not is, necessary. Is, 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 is it, I thought it was for the environment. It's for asthma. It's for asthma. The whole This whole thing is but, being but led on Also, no one's asthma. taking away the gas ovens, but it's not even happening. No, they're doing it. They always say, you know, I know, I know they're doing oh, it. I forgot. Because... This is the, 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 the Fed state. The yeah, the New York it. Times yeah. said, no, we're not coming to take your gas stove. So Which that's how they I are. know <laughs> that they're <laughs> definitely <laughs> coming to yeah. take my gas stove. Was it stove. in the style section? Because that's how you. I don't know. I didn't, just... I didn't even read it. Did I Biden just looked at say something headline about preview. stoves? Like, how did this come up? Yeah, he said, and so, so then we're, and that's, um, that's what I told her. That's what he that, said. Yeah, Shut that's up. <laughs> I'm sure he's more eloquent than that, you fucking idiot. Uh, look, I agree the government sometimes goes too far, but who knows? If they're saying... Who knows? I think they could have an advisory. Like, if you have a kid and you don't want him to get asthma, consider getting an electric Throw stove. Throw the kid out the window. If you want to have tax credits for it, sure. But I don't think they're going to actually get, get rid of Get some exercise, your... you little fat oh, brat. California get is trying to do it to uh, Please, remember when Michelle Obama told people to exercise? and was like, don't tell me what to do. Yeah, you guys do. all freaked out about that. <laughs> We did? Yeah. And yeah. then Michelle well, Obama was like, hey, don't just eat garbage. And like, my kid's going to eat as many trans fats as he possibly can. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, though. <laughs> fuck, fuck now, there. now they're scared about giving them the trans fats because, you know, you, yeah. Yeah, because the oven stick. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, I know one country who built a lot of ovens, and I don't like them. So <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. There you go. If There's you, a lot of uh, negative things associated with ovens. Uh, look, I don't think it's that bad. Bad problem. It's the worst Vote thing that happened this week to us. To, <laughs> to, my, to lot, my people. There's a this lot of worse worst things thing. going on. And we can't even boycott anything. How do you think if I feel as a conservative when something I don't like happens, I'm like, what am I going to boycott? Because all conservatives fail at boycotts and can't possibly ever agree on any of them. You can't succeed at a boycott. It just matters that you did it. It could if you guys like actually got you know like all your stuff together. I'm boycotting electricity. Also, maybe if like they could find good things to boycott, it's like the most famous successful conservative boycott was Janet Jackson's boo. Yeah. Which is like, oh, wow, yeah. like you pretty much just say we suck as humans. Or like the Dixie uh, Chicks. That it's like the focus come on. Of your boycott. Yeah, who you guys? They always uh, boycott. They're saying we're gonna boycott Netflix because it's woke. Conservatives can only like opposite boycott. Like we can only buy stuff. Yeah, you can't stop buying stuff. No, so you can go like uh, race, right. uh, so then, homophobic wait, 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 chicken. Wait, wait. Like yeah, 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 yeah. When the left says new balance is for Nazis, like they're like, oh, come me, on, let's bring on the new <laughs> balance. <laughs> new balance. So, like, you can't do the opposite whatsoever. Can't do the opposite. Yeah. Don't buy? No. Wait, I gotta buy. Trump said Goya beans are, yeah, what was that oh, big thing? Fucking beans. You can eat beans with anything. <laughs> everybody's, everybody's buying beans what, like What, do you want to live in fucking electricity world like the Matrix? Because that's what Andrew Tate wants us in.
If I, there's too much electric shit, it doesn't work, okay? None look, of it fucking works. Just give me the old gas stuff. Come if on. You had brought in, if you had brought in some stats, but all you brought in is it's going to be harder to light a cigarette on my stove. What do you which want? Is not what useful more do you to want? I, I just s- thought of that. <laughs> It's going to get even worse. You could have, like, actually done some research, found some... <laughs> All of these stats are bullshit. All the 13% Asian thing was... of childhood asthma cases in the U.S. are caused by gas stove use. 13%? Yeah, right. I don't fucking That's believe that. That's a fucking lie, You probably. can't say you don't believe it. It's You brought in the stat. <laughs> It's probably a fucking lie. All right. Anyway, All right. that's my problem. Gas Adam, stove bans. Gas stove bans. If you like the government, vote up. <laughs> or vote down. Vote down. Fuck, never mind. Just do it. <laughs> vote correctly like vote you know correctly. I want you to. Okay, Adam, what's your problem? What's my problem? Oh, yeah. that's right. Because it's called the biggest problem. Yes. yes. What is, Adam, the, the biggest problem in the universe? Um, I've been doing some research. Yes. On the internet. About what is a problem. Mm-hmm. And I kind of started maybe around Friday. I started doing some research. I think I know what the problem is. It's me. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, yeah. no. He's going to win. <laughs> I he gave am the, the biggest show. problem in the universe. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Dick's mind is blown right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an easy win. <laughs> <laughs> you totally problem. redeemed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Why do you I think, think so? Why do you? What have you read that made you think this? Oh, I didn't. I haven't thought so. I just read this, and so okay. I went with it. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I uh, it has a mixture of things. Um, I'm irrelevant, <laughs> out of touch. There's a little me under him. I was wondering if there's a way I to get rid of it. No, oh, okay, never mind. That. Yeah. Oh, there is a little you. Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little that's distracting. Like... <laughs> hi. Oh. I don't know how to get rid of that bug. Right, never mind. All right, you're irrelevant. Uh, out of touch. Okay. Uh, bald. I have a list. Let me see if you're hitting all the ones on my How do you have a list? Well, because I tweeted about the show, so everyone came in and oh, said, said a bunch of <laughs> shitty comments. <laughs> Uh, I, oh, 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 I I clearly am in the thralls of an addiction. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm mentally unstable. Uh, you destroyed, G, you destroyed G4. I mean, yeah. we, we know oh, that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I yes. have the powers to take out my inner networks. <laughs> Um, Somebody asked me to ask you how cocaine smelled, and I'm like, you guys, uh, you're talking to the wrong guy about trying to make fun of somebody for doing drugs. Like, <laughs> it's like that would be like me asking him, like, oh, did you have a beer? Like, <laughs> I, you're, you're actually hitting on something that I think is kind of funny because, like, these kids love to throw this, like, oh, you're an addict da, 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 yeah. in, in my face. It's like you were and a television like, personality I, in California in the but, but well, also, early 2000s. Like, like, dude, like, they're so like I'm so straight. Like, is it like for the use? Is being straight edge like the cool thing? Yes, kind yeah. of. Yeah. So do they have like Nancy Reagan posters in their bedroom that, that they that jerk point. off to? No, just 1950s advertisements with pictures of smiling families buttering Wonder Bread under a. And picnic. because okay. they're so sheltered, they don't know drug dealers, and they're too big of pussies to go find drug dealers. Like that's who these that yeah. these, that's who the, that's how they grow up. Well, we have the trads. They're they're really yeah. they've really convinced themselves that America was perfect in like the post World War II era. Got a hold yeah. of this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so, yeah, all the drugs and the porn, or whatever, is just degeneracy and horrible. Yeah, and you're like, no, um, that's all the fun stuff that we fought really hard to get, you yeah, morons. I, the the part that that kind of sucks because, like, the framing. There's well, there's no way you'd be able to appreciate it. Is uh, ever since I decided to go into semi retirement, I am so much heavier than I've ever been in my entire life. Really? Uh yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I, I wish oh. uh, you know Adam, the large pain addict. Tummy, belly. <laughs> See if I can. Yeah, you're no, really drowning. See, that's see, a, you can't get the right That's a coke there. belly right there. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, wait a minute. We might have a little problem here. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it's okay. 
We have uh, we were not live for the past thirty minutes. <gasps> oh, Bob. I had the feeling when I saw your face, Vito, and it, we've we've recorded it all. So. Yeah, we've recorded it all. <laughs> I knew I should have said something. Course, I knew I should have said, can you just check to make sure we're live? <laughs> anyway, don't worry. It's all been recorded, and this will be uploaded to the show. I'm sorry. But the impor- I'm checking a it's lot of okay. stuff before it's the fine. show. The important thing is that we've just gotten here. We've just gotten Adam's problem, which is great. Dick oh, that is- explains all the replies I have been getting on Twitter. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna blow my I'm gonna <laughs> blow my head off. And I just for some reason, like part of me was like, I should just make sure it's good. I tr- I- oh, it's always trust me, Fido. Every time you think, I wonder yeah. if I should I'm check. Sorry. Exactly I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The time you should check. <laughs> anyway. Oh. I got to see if I would have fucked up the stream key, then it would have gone through. You want to flip it live now? <laughs> it's just live, live now. now. It is yeah. live now. <laughs> Dana, do you want to explain what happened? Well, <laughs> the last time on the biggest problem in the world. No, we're not doing. We have it. It's all recorded. You guys will get the first thirty minutes of the show. We'll be on. The fucking page. Uh, Just would have been great if we went live with the right yeah, time. Yeah, Because right great. now we're talking about how... <laughs> Adam Sessler's problem Adam is... Adam Sessler's problem is that he is the biggest problem in the universe. Yes. <sighs> I am the biggest problem in the universe. <laughs> and uh, all of you guys have been telling him he's the biggest problem in the universe. And he, well, that's just, how I found out. Yeah. I didn't know. I was just leading this very naive life up until... I this tell everybody like, to call me if it's not live, and they always text. They didn't call. They don't not fucking a call. Person I don't called. know why they just text. Oh my oh, god! It's so aggravating. It's my fault. It's okay. We're getting back in the swing of it. Uh, well, now you know what it's like to be me. Yeah, I feel like I just destroyed a major television network like, by not what? knowing how You're to go live. You're the biggest problem of the last forty-five minutes. <laughs> now put that. On a universe level. Yeah. And now you know me. Yeah. So. Not. Well, Adam, everyone, a lot of people have called you the biggest problem in, in the gaming space that you've destroyed the G4 network and all this other uh, uh, pro- hyper- hyperbolic type comments. I mean, do you take any ownership of destroying gaming forever? Uh, destroy gaming forever? I don't See, know. That's the thing. Yeah, oh, I, I actually do take, I, I, I more legitimately take some credit. As we were talking about earlier, that like here in the YouTube world, like you can't figure out how to have like the top 10 worst things to put in your penis or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, like that's how you have to do the content. Uh, you know, I started out in 1998. That was before we had video on the internet. We had the internet. Uh, yeah. And you know, especially when you became Tech TV and when G4 became G4. Uh, we were still a little bit ahead of the curve. You know, we were able to do what YouTube would eventually do. That's when uh, we really started to realize, wow, the more we insult and be hateful, the more our viewership seems to go up. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I, I think that we were Vanguards. So well, like, when you think you contributed uh, to it? You think when G4... Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Did you notice when you like shit on a game, like it would get more attention and more press or something like that? I was shit on shit, I would get more attention. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, like one of the most successful things that we could do back on X Ray was do viewer mail and read the hateful things that people were sending to us, and then we would make fun of them. Uh, We're going to do that at the end of the show, by the way. (laughs) Please super chat your comments right now. I I mean, I know this just from the old days of comedy. It's like the heckler wants the attention. Yeah, and yeah. it's like I love people like Don Rickles and stuff like that in insult comedy. People yeah. love being insulted in that particular arena, uh, and so we did it. People loved it because everyone thinks they're not that viewer. Yeah, it's like you, you, you create that entire dynamic where everyone thinks, "Oh, I'm the other." Uh, so that's why so many people. It's, that's why I find so amazing is that as I'm insulting gamers, how many people are willingly taking the mantle of gamer? <laughs> it's like, I'm like I. <laughs> I mean, it's like I've been doing this a long time, and I always think that like the time they invest and the money they pay is like they're paying to hate you. Like some of them, they're paying to oh, yeah. level outrageous critics. Like they're watching in order to criticize, and I do that to a lot of stuff. Like I'll watch, I'll watch a movie that I know I'm gonna hate just so I can hate it afterwards. Um, yeah, there's like a there's a lot of people, and I think that's a legitimate way to consume oh, yeah. media. 
I mean, look at the end of the day. A view is a view is a view is a view. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I mean, there is a point where in order to keep ratings going, if I needed to bleed myself a little, okay, let's do it. Uh, and that's why I think people were like, we're so, I was so shocked how shocked people were when I was like, uh, when I was being blunt on, on Twitter and saying, uh, yeah. You know, I was, I was, I was, I was doing it. Like I was being paid by G four. My interest was in the ratings. Do you think any and, of your and, and the survival of the show? <laughs> do you think any of your like turn from the old school G four, the new one, is motivated by like uh, guilt or trolls remorse, having been part of like the hate mob in the first place, to now you know, aggressively? In the beginning, I was trying to solve for some problems. Yeah. In fact, even the the. the uh, AI company I helped found, Spike Trap. I used to kind of joke because I would suddenly have meetings with people whose games I once reviewed. Not the developers, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but other people. And it was like, hey, this is kind of my mea culpa because, you know, back, you know, this, we, I think we all know the journalistic technique. We didn't do it too much on X-Play, uh, which is like, here are three tweets that are dissenting from conventional wisdom. We will now call them everybody or most people, and now we have a story. Yeah. Uh, right. And the, a, a lot of the tech was to be able to aggregate comments. The AI could figure out if it was particular to a game, uh, or or sometimes even a subject matter of a game or a character of a game. Uh, yeah. Could aggregate all those comments across various social media, and then it, and then it could actually try to judge sentiment based upon how gamers talk. <clears throat> and that way, you could kind of the, we we always give more credibility to the negative than to the positive, especially on the internet. Yeah, you obsess uh, yeah. so, over the negative comments. Yeah. Well, and you make this completely false assumption, which is if this says that I suck, that person must represent a thousand people. And right. So three of them means there's three thousand people that think I suck. That that that's absolutely just disingenuous. The only thing you can say is those three people think I suck at that moment in time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we, we, we tried to solve for that problem so that game companies weren't jumping and changing and making marketing or design decisions. God Which forbid. they still do, and Which they still... constantly like take yeah. one little piece of criticism and change everything about a game but or whatever else. It was, it was designed to be able to help contextualize. and yeah. Because some of the most awful things are not necessarily – everyone notices it, but like that doesn't mean everyone's thinking it. When uh, well, the, 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 uh, An example that I used to give all the time because it was so neat uh, – 2017, maybe, maybe 18. Uh, what's the character from Overwatch that's on the, a lot of the marketing? Tracer, the main one? Tracer, Tracer, Tracer. Okay. Uh, was like It came out there, Tracer was gay, I guess, in the fan fiction right. or the fiction. I don't know. Uh, uh, boycott. Uh, boycott. <laughs> I'm, I call it so, boycott. <laughs> so there's a lot of people saying boycott and awful, terrible things about that. And we were able to see immediately that there was a massive amount of conversation happening around that subject, but the majority of it was actually either positive or completely neutral, yeah. just reiterating huh. the fact that Tracer was gay. Now, the most odious <sighs> stuff was negative, and a lot of the conversation was in reaction to the negative, but the negative in and of itself made up only a very small portion, pro proportion, of, uh, of 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 that conversation, but I think everyone has such a siege mentality at all times that you you're just going to sort of assume the worst in everything when you have at least one or two examples of it. Well, then we jump, and then I wish this this kind of data or people understood this this concept where you know one or two people will tweet out like, "Oh, I can't believe the new Buzz Lightyear movie has like a two second gay kiss in it." I'm definitely not going to see it. Uh, and then the news, like, some people go so far as to say, well, the reason the movie failed is because of this one gay scene or whatever. And I go, it was a Buzz Lightyear movie without Tim Allen that didn't have Woody or any of the other toys. Like, there's a million other reasons. I, I, yeah, it was a yeah, shitty I saw, movie. It sucked bad. Yes! Big time. This, this goes back, you can go back all the way to 2005 or six, whenever Halo 2 came out, I yeah. think. Maybe Halo 3. I can't, okay, I remember I did a Cessna Showbox about this. Anyway, a Halo game came out at the same time that a Ben Affleck movie. No, not Ben Affleck. It was... Uh, uh, Matt Damon? Nope, 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 nope. Rowan uh, Atkinson? Yeah, Rowan Atkinson. He kind of looked the same. The, the, <laughs> uh, he's, he's up by people. Funny Jewish guy. Uh, Seth Rogen. Ben Stiller. Yay. Ben Stiller, oh. right. Ben Stiller was in a remake of The Goodbye Girl. Uh, the, the Paul Simon play that was once right. a famous movie in the 60s. It came out the same weekend as, I believe it was Halo, a Halo game. 
And every write-up was the movie failed because Halo came out. And I kept on saying, no, I think the movie didn't do well because it's a shitty movie. (laughs) Yeah. No one wants to see a retread of the 1960s romantic comedy that no one remembers. Well, people want an easy one-note answer, and it's the same thing with G4. They want to say, well, Frost yelled at a bunch of, or gave a rant or whatever, and that's the one thing that sunk the whole network. And, you know, listen, man, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. To blame it all on that is, is silly. Yeah, ha- can you have you talked about like what went into that decision? I think I read that you knew she was going to do that ahead of time, right, Adam? You knew the Frost rant was coming. No, oh. no, you didn't. That was off. That would you have advised her to like go through with that or delay or like? I would never tell it out? someone what to do. Yeah, I just yeah. I don't like that. Uh, the only thing I would have probably said is what could happen in terms of the attacks. Advise this, her of the, uh, the backlash uh, that uh, could uh, be uh, coming. I have put myself in that situation where I have a direct, uh, attracted such negative attention that I do start to become uneasy for my own personal safety. Yeah. Uh, and that's not fun. That that just isn't fun at all. Um, to, to be honest, when, when, when it happened, I was, up, I was deeply sympathetic. Uh, yeah. in, in no small part, because I had become began to feel bad that my mere presence on that network as a whole was I had never liked these like oh these people aren't as good as you know the old crew or something like that yeah and that my my very being there <laughs> everyone is comparing her to you I did and, not yeah. appreciate casting that shadow. Uh, so I don't think, no, no, I, 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 well, I wouldn't have kept it from happening, but I became, I was pretty certain the shitstorm that was on the horizon, uh, yeah. was, 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 did you was, think was she was coming. prepared for it? Was she shocked at the response to it? Uh, Cause it was a, it was big. I'm not <laughs> going to anybody... talk, talk too much about other people that I oh, work with okay. because uh, they're not here. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, but okay. what what uh, was the network was the network expecting the response more so than for her herself? You know, that's because that, it seems tricky. like they they, were, they kind the, of the, leaned the, into the it. The reason I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm actually pausing on that veto is it's really tough to explain what the network is. Right, because I get it. There's G4. There's the much larger organization that's over it. Yeah. Um, the, having said that, there from much earlier on when I was there, uh, there did not seem to be as well informed an understanding of what the internet can do, and more importantly, what the gaming audience was like. Yeah, that yeah, was kind there was, of what I, there yeah. was a little too much faith in the general humanity of gamers. <laughs> <laughs> that I, uh, <laughs> you know, everyone thought I was being comically. Uh, you were overselling. You're like these people are maniacs, of, yeah. and but they're they like, don't understand. Oh, I, say, <laughs> I have a date to company, or I started yeah. a date. I did not have it at that point. Other people were running, and I had left. But I had started a data company to try to get to the bottom of this very question, and it's filled with horrible, 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 horrible people yeah. that like are, are like the only thing I think that we haven't. And, and who financially them, benefit is, is from like carbon. that? We're yeah. all carbon based in some. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got. I only have two. I got two because I. I know I mentioned Gamergate before, but yeah. I remember yeah. when it came out. I don't. I never know what's going when on in these out, circles. Like, when, when it came out, when it launched. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the new Gamergate just came out. Gamergate launched. I'm gonna have to wait in line to be those one the first to see Gamergate. <laughs> Somebody yeah, told yeah. me that it's like uh, it was about. Well, okay. First of all, I mean, I re- I found it. First of all, um, do you do do you think there was any validity to there being no. uh, okay <laughs> ethics in game journalism? I know no. they said that. But they- Okay, and I, 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 like, thank you for giving me this platform. Absolutely. Uh, ethics in games. I mean, it's like, what the fuck? That was so stupid back then. It's just as it's stupid now. It, it, it's a, it, 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 the, the part that pissed me off the most was not just the hideous, slanderous attacks that had no basis in reality, because they were, like, one could disprove them without any effort. Right. Uh, but that... There were legitimate publications that decided to take it seriously enough. Uh, and like, I think that they fanned the flames by saying, we're going to do an investigation. 
<laughs> and it, it, it really, it's, 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 it, it, it's, it's that kind of nonsense. It's actually not all that dissimilar than Merrick Garland today deciding that he's going to have a special counsel because they found some other documents of, you know, in, in Biden's garage. Lock him up! Lock <laughs> no, him up! No, 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 no. The difference here is they <laughs> handed him right back when discovered. Yeah. Too late. And, but like, this idea that like, I'm making these weird concessions to the crazy. That somehow you're showing fair play to a group of people for whom fair play you can't even fucking spell it. Yeah, because they got it's, money. Like, they got money and they read magazines. That's why. Oh, so I rate. Anyway, that was my little platform. But no, there was no merit to it. Why the hell people care that much about games journalism to the extent that it exists? And there are, I would say, there's about three or four people that practice real honest to God, good journalism. Yeah, I agree with that. His games. Yeah. Um, but Jason Schreier it's, does, it's, is it's, one of the only dude, journalists. This is the same group of people who thinks everything I do is a review. If I do a video when I talk about a game, it's a review. <laughs> they think every goddamn hat's a fucking fedora. Yeah. They think a hair on your mustache is a beard. I mean, these people live in such goddamn <laughs> the shells. Gamers, the gamers. That, like, they don't even have the worldly context of a hermit crab. <laughs> they at least try to find another one every six months. I mean, God. I, it, it's, it's like you don't indulge these people. It's like when a three-year-old has a tantrum. What you're supposed to do is quietly close the door and let them burn themselves out. Turn the gas and on. instead, the whole thing was, you know. And, 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 and some very nice people they, like went through some really awful fucking shit. Well, I have to I, say. I mean, yeah. I was a target of it. And it didn't come close to the things that women endured and people of color. Right. You're talking about during Gamergate or just yeah. in general? During Gamergate, yeah. 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 Well, then you know, like, I think the thing is when it happened to me with Gamergate, I had been through so much at that point that it was old hat. Out of, at an intense level, but for a lot of people, no one had like they had not endured what an honest to God hate campaign on the internet could feel like, which is which can be very dislocating, to say the least. When I learned about Gamergate, they were like, "Yeah, it's about uh, well, people are saying like gamers are like misogynistic and homophobic and hateful." I'm like, "Yeah, that's the best part of ga- what are you talking <laughs> I mean, about?" Obviously, yeah. you guys are and they're clearly. Like, that's, you know, you're a, you <laughs> liberal, and I'm like, oh, "No, that's the best part." I <laughs> well, that agree. was the thing is that the ethics in game journalism was this bullshit straw man argument because these people didn't like a being pointed out how much they suck and b because they were scared that they were losing their games. Well, it quickly it's fell like, apart. There's a lady yeah. in my game now. Oh no! We need to put no. broken glass on the ladder to the tree house. I I don't oh, like. God. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Women have ruined some of my favorite things, Adam. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, uh, I know, but that's your penis. <laughs> they have not. They have yet to ruin that. <laughs> They're working on it. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, my whole thing with Gamergate was that it, it was, uh, it wasn't so much about, uh, polit- what do you call it? Ethics and game journalism. Like they, Oh yeah. I think there was like some points <laughs> to be made. <laughs> yeah. I think there was some points to be made about some of the nepotism, but let's be clear. Like every small journalistic industry has that, not nepotism, but like favors for friends. No, 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 no. Yeah. I was, I, the whole nepo baby thing that New York Magazine did was just one of the, fun, like the funniest, stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, there's nepotism. Yeah. Well, that's it's the thing is like, what like, are you going to do? The game industry. Of royalty is lost on people. If I like, work at if I work at a video game website and my buddy makes a video game, like yeah, he might get some free coverage from me. Like that's yeah. it's part of the yeah, part I of the game. Yeah, the entertainment industry. It's like that's everybody's scratching everybody's back. Well, everyone knows why season two of Lost sucked because Lost turned into a big hit and then they hired their friends. Right. Uh huh. And, and then it just became hired. this kind of like this big mess that no one knew how to like kind of unwind. I think it started like when it quickly fell apart though was I was like, you guys don't care about ethics and game journalism. You're clearly just mad about, you know, the SJWs infecting whatever. Because you're going after like Anita Sarkeesian and I'm like, she's not a journalist. Like she's this is a whole no, different no, thing. Is, going I on. told you. If it's a rough, if it's a video, it's a review. And it's just and what I could never figure out is is this some very, very effective because if you go back and you read like Jean Paul Sartre and smart people, it involves reading. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, Lex Friedman's <laughs> reading list is being brought up uh, in real time. Is that on his reading list? <laughs> I don't know. Like, a lot of it is it's kind of the conflation and manipulation of language where you make things that mean things that they don't. Yeah. This, I don't believe, was being engineered by people smart enough to pull that up, but it did happen organically. Where, like, you know, journalism review, it's like, 
Yes, you want to think that a journalist is ethical, duh. Yeah. But most of the, who they were attacking, by no stretch of the imagination, could be called a journalist. Right, they I'm were not the journalists. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it's like the whole thing was so insane. And once it got hijacked, like once a guy like Milo Nyanopoulos is going, yeah, I fucking oh, yeah, love Patriot. video games. I'm the yeah. biggest video gamer ever. And yeah. you're like, you've never played a fucking video game in your life, you fucking idiot. <gasps> then we got Trump. Oh, my. Woo, God. out of yeah, it. Tr- and then uh, what do you call <laughs> that it? Was, Steve that Bannon's going, oh, part. I love gamers <laughs> and shit. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> this is bullshit. Uh, it you got know. hijacked immediately by, like, the worst types of grifters. So what should we do about this Adam Sessler problem? Sounds like a big problem. Kill him. What are we well, gonna... see, that's the weird thing, is I thought they took care of me. Yeah. Where are you you off the airwaves? From the network. Yeah. yeah. That's the part that's so weird, yet that wasn't enough. So I'm not so certain what I'm supposed to do with myself, because... I had already said I wasn't going to do the games anymore. I don't want to. You know, like I've, I've mentioned, and I have to be honest, I was a little bit low to have to point out, I, 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 look, I'm I the beneficiary of a rare success in my life. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I You're doing good. Company, I found it. Yeah. And, like, the last, once that happened, it's like, good, I don't have to do, I, like, I once enjoyed getting in front of the camera and doing stuff. I, like, it really stopped being fun. Uh, I'll, I'll be frank. I didn't enjoy much of the, 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 uh, revamp of G4. It had nothing mm. to do with the people I worked with or anything like that. I could just tell early on that it was going to be moving in a direction that I wasn't exactly in line with what I had thought it was going to be. Uh, and was that kind of I, the I, esports push they were doing? Oh, or God, what? no. I knew, I know. No, you knew that was obvious from the get go. Yeah. Um, I thought it, we, it, I, I thought it was actually going to try to, be more like a formal television show but like in in the television internet melange that it yeah. was yeah. i was under the impression it was gonna be more television than it was in <clears throat> and it ended up kind of being like uh, a televised youtube show in the in the television space yeah, yeah. Uh, and that and also when you go into the internet space <laughs> whether people do it deliberately or not people over analyze they, they, they take the audience too much into consideration i think Oh, will they get it? Oh, will they like it? Will it make them upset? And it's like, but the thing is, if you upset the audience, that's not necessarily a negative. Uh, and you never know how the audience is going to react. Uh, that, which is the other, the flip of that is you can't manufacture virality. Yeah, right? it, that's it's, what, it's like. That's what it's, kind it's, of annoys me it, about like a lot of these properties and reboots and stuff is there is I see uh, them being sold as marketing to all groups like I see traditionally male hobbies like gaming and whatever you know pick 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 whatever male thing that there was previously male dominant and they're choosing to appeal to like a, they're forcing the women de- demographic into their decisions of how they're presenting their product and I, that's why that's what I don't like about it and I feel like that's where a lot of this hate comes from like people don't know how to express it properly like. I do, but you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, look that that was two or three full sentences. Yeah, so yeah. I applaud you. That, uh, thank you. On, on, on that. Uh, look, here, there's, there's actually a kernel of something I do agree with is uh, gaming. We have a gaming network is already that's too broad. Right. It gaming doesn't mean is anything. Too broad. And that's kind Movies, of been the whole. No, there, 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 there is no movie network. There is no book network. Yeah. There's a, there, there is a food network, but it really is one food, and that's Southern. And it's not eating. That's right. It's like, <laughs> at 11 a.m., we have fried food. At 11.30, more fried food. And then uh, at, at noon, the man with the spiky hair drives two fried There food. is a theme, and it's um, yeah, like a big dumb yeah. idiot. It's not like, here, Which we're going to make yeah, a, yeah. Yeah. a it's, tiny it's little like thing. It's French hour on the food network. No, no. Um, so uh, to, so you yeah, think it ain't too wide? It's so, just... like, I, it's, it's it, the, the eSports audience in the single-player audience, like, there's they don't cross. very, very oh, little overlap yes. that's going to happen there. Yeah. Um, I do think that, but but I I, but I, I think say in that single player space, uh, in in some of the esports space, there there it is there 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 there, there is a large female audience. Um, but to your point, the one size fits all type approach to doing a gaming network period, regardless mm. of, of 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 gender yeah. predispositions, racial dispositions, is really not terribly effective because. 
There is no one who loves games so much they care about every facet of games. Do you think it uh, came with too much baggage calling it G4? Because I could see some people saying, oh, I remember G4. That was that male-focused network where there was women yeah, in skimpy I outfits see how, and naked see, women. jumping around. See, funny I funny and then it became Spike TV <laughs> because it was such a fit or whatever. Like, did that set people up I was, for I was on that play, and we never looked at you our never thought audience of that as way. being that male. Yeah. Whereas Attack of the Show, yes. Yeah. And... I always forget sometimes how I cut for for the the latter part of the existence of the network. We were the other show with the tag of the show. We were not the, the big yeah show the network. interesting. And so that aspect, that Olivia aspect, especially of the show, yeah, definitely I think is the most lasting impression for most people. Um, so maybe using the name G Force, yes, had it, that it, baggage. It was camp. I'll put it to you this way. It yeah. did have that baggage. That baggage was not an inherent problem, but that but that was not addressed sufficiently. Yeah. That it became a problem. Uh, I, I I think that's the right way to look at it. Yeah. This is also fascinating to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I remember watching it and I remember like Frost's thing going live. And I remember thinking, like, man, I really just want to like drive over to Burbank, like bang on the walls and be like, guys, I need to tell you about the internet and the current state and <laughs> yeah. like what's going on. Cause like they're just not gonna eat the they're all crazy right now. And like oh, wait, I don't no, even no, think, no, no. and I don't even think what Frost was saying. I, I I've always said, look, what she's saying, yes, there is room for that discussion and it's all yeah. very important to have. But give me the, the problem is like other one people too. don't want to have it here. Like but, but, yeah. but also yeah. also bear in mind that there was a massive positive reaction to it as well. Okay. But the positive reaction was peters drowned out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Because the people so you who can't make endless to it YouTube are videos. normal human beings <laughs> right. that then reverted back to their goddamn lives. Whereas this strange, right. broken, encrusted, basement dwelling fuck nuts that got upset by it are yeah. obsessive and can't let go of any perceived slight that they have in their Trump addled world. And that's the problem. Yeah. I mean, that's the issue. Is that I still don't think they were the majority. Well, that's what I wanted, but that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, you don't know what you're up against. You're up against a bunch of guys. Just give us a hot girl. Can you, well, that's like that's a whole other channel. Thing. It's fine. Just they give us what that. we want a little bit. Okay, but regardless. Yeah, but Bob, Bob, there's the internet. Yeah, the you can find that I mean, anywhere. That's Nick. the whole no, thing. I need it you want right what you want in all places <laughs> at all times. It's like you're the dude who's going to walk into a nail salon and wonder why they aren't offering dick polishing. You complain about it. Yeah, Dick, there's other places you can go on while I'm here. <laughs> I think I just wanted to express that there are guys who just can make. I mean, they made like a thousand videos about Brie Larson ruining Marvel. Like they have no. Once they How find did she ruin Marvel by being a woman. <laughs> Look at those feet. <laughs> Look gross. at those feet. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, she has gross feet. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't seen her. One feet. toe goes the other way like a wisdom Does tooth. Oh, <laughs> messed up, I man. Heard that. I don't know about that one. Because she's shit on men. Like we're so tired of getting shit on. I don't need some fucking millionaire like celebrity telling me that I'm an asshole. Like fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> Happened twice. You're not a celebrity. <laughs> he did the thing. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I'll take that one. Uh, uh, I find this all very interesting. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see what G4 would become, but if it felt there was a lack of direction in the market. Yeah, has been taken over by kind of hyper negativity, where if you're not making content about this game is the worst and this person well, is the worst it's yeah, hard to find that's traction the thing, is that where it was also i don't think what was also fully appreciated is that there was going to be no grace period yeah if we were brand new a brand no one had heard of didn't involve me it was a bunch of young people yucking it up like the like the mystery machine gang yeah that's one thing that's gonna have some time to organically find its own footing and grow into it when you're taking an old brand that is rightly or wrongly perceived to have been something of a cultural behemoth, it wasn't kids. Uh, no, it really wasn't. <laughs> it was fun. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. But, and you're bringing it back. You're not, like, the expectations are high, deservedly so, and you don't have any time to uh, make a mistake. Like, you, yeah. you've got to hit the ground running. 
And I, I did want to see Frost that. do interviews. Like, if she's going to make she's a big statement. very sta- good. I, I wanted to see her interviews. on the quartering show. Like, if you're going to make a statement like that, you better go on every fucking Why? big Maybe show. Maybe she will at some point. Because you're in the business Why? of selling entertainment. Like, this is, I mean, that's like, what everybody's the craving isn't it. Your, look, the quickening wasn't the audience. The no quickening. one wanted the quickening <laughs> audience. Everybody's the audience. So <laughs> give me that. Oh give the God, people what they want. Game of, that, that's kind of, that's what I just say thank you to... <laughs> my goddamn career. Oh my god. Look, no, Frost, little Frost, Frost did basement she dweller. should not have gone on the quartering. Absolutely not. She should have come on my show. I would have done a very fair and balanced. You would have. I would have. I would have extremely the fair. Thing is, in, 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 hold on. The, the, in all honesty, why? Why does she owe an explanation to anybody? What she said made absolute sense. There was really no need to further articulate what she said. It was very If she eloquent. thinks it's the final and word, then that's clear. her call. Absolutely. Right. I can't tell but her it, otherwise. It's kind of that, it, it, it's that, there's that dude mentality where it's like, well, hold on. We have a debate here. <laughs> there's two sides to every story. Yeah, every rose has its thorn. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, you got a debate. I think no, there are. That, I think that, that, yeah. that's why I am absolutely and utterly entitled to say gamers suck. Fair I am enough. not a gamer, and that's all I need to say. Everyone keeps something like, "Oh no, but Adam, how do you define gamer?" You don't I sound don't like a gamer at all. I have to tell you. <laughs> I don't have to tell you how I define gamer. Adam is they not a to, gamer. They can folks. define a role-playing game to me. What is it? Exactly. Well, yeah. there's all uh, there's all sorts of definitions out there, but you have you have d- asserted you are you are not. Were you formerly a gamer? Were you no. ever a game? Never were no. a gamer. Oh. I was a person who played games and reviewed them. <laughs> and you dis- I don't even know what a gamer is. Well, that's. I know. Look, I can identify a gamer from a mile away, but I could not even. I don't even, I don't bother with the definition. <laughs> it's, it's a, the famous Justice Potter who was blind on the Supreme Court. I'm going to do a history lesson. Yes. Yes. A uh, famous pornography case that went in front of the Supreme Court. Obscenity. I, it was the obscenity case. Anyway, he didn't even offer up a definition of pornography, but he says he can know it when he sees it. Oddly enough, he was also blind. He was legally blind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that guy was legally blind. So that, makes, that makes um, that story a lot better. But it's, 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 it's one of those, I, we all know what a gamer is. Kind of. I, like, yeah, it's confusing. Yeah. I mean, but it's also it's like I read books, I watch movies. I don't define myself by any of those. You're not either. a booker. You're not a filmer. <laughs> uh, uh, Richard Rico. What was I gonna say? <laughs> I think a big problem has become, and this is something I brought up briefly to you, is that we have we have a big loss of identity, uh, not just among young men, but among yeah. uh, you know a lot of people. Where you know people don't go to church as much. People don't have strong community ties. So people are kind of trying to form bonds along the lines of, hey, we all like Marvel movies. Hey, we all like video games. Podcasts. And it's we all love The Biggest Problem in the Universe, the best mm-hmm. podcast in the world. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem. And it's weird because you're right. It's not really a great way to forge an identity because though me and you might both like Chrono Trigger, it doesn't really mean we have the same belief systems or yeah. uh, ways of thinking about things. And yet people well, kind of latch it's, on. It's, it's, it's unwise. And I'm yeah. going to use an analogy. Please forgive me if it's somewhat derisive of what the two of you are doing. What but let's say you try to build fuck? a career that is wholly <laughs> dependent upon another company's product. Yes. Like YouTube, for example. Yeah. And you have no ability to control nor influence what's going to happen with that product in the future, and you're going to have to live with those ebbs and flows. I mean, that's the same thing. If you decide to create your identity around a corporate brand, a corporate product, that's, Yo, so let me let me smart. let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about this. I just launched this this week. I've been working on this for about a year with some guys from my other show. Really, really smart guys. Uh, we built you see a, other shows. I do another show. So it's you called have like, the, an open show relationship. I think. <laughs> yeah, you know, we both play around, play the field. We got our own audience. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, they, yeah. they, they uh, understand. They're cool with it. They don't like yeah. it, but they're cool with it. Uh, I'm the one show at a time kind of guy. I I we built a uh, version. You ever done of, two shows at once? So you ever done two shows at once? 
I, I, we have. We did the Ralph. Ralph called in last week, and he was doing his show. Uh, <laughs> we built a Patreon alternative that's on the blockchain, so it cannot. Be, you can you can't be deplatformed off of it. It's a fundraising monthly subscription service that you do. You put content on it. It all goes on the blockchain. It goes directly to the people that subscribe to you, and you can never be kicked off. I know exactly what you're saying. Like you depend, your business depends on a bigger business. But this, what we built, is a major step forward uh, from for protecting creators from uh, the big platforms. Yeah, it's called Back.Buy. Our show's on it. Back.Buy slash uh, Biggest Problem. But it's I, I hope it's going to be huge. Technologically, it is a major step forward in uh, privacy and protecting I mean, I'm creators. very upset. Well, I was talking to Mr. Girl yesterday, who's a great content creator, who was deplatformed by a bunch of your Nazi buddies or whatever you know, the fuck. You know. <laughs> Should have been being a pedophile. And, uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it really is scary that you know they can just take away at any point a big company can, with no explanation, yeah, uh, boot you off. Well, but, it, but, it, but not even that. I mean, I, I have seen many times see a Twitch or YouTube or something like that that suddenly the monetary. I actually don't know much about the YouTubing economy. So correct. For, forgive me if I get this wrong in terms of terminology, but. Like suddenly the revenue split isn't the same, or there's some other new policy that's gone into place where you're going to probably have to work twice as hard to be able to get. Yeah, know, I the mean same they'll, they'll of, roll out pennies. a feature and they'll be like, "Oh, you should you should be so excited. We're going to give you twenty percent of the monetization." And you're like, "What the fuck?" You know they wrote. See, the I, 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 yeah, it's, it's 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 one of those where like, yeah, it sucks. I don't think there's much room for that much complaining. It's kind of like when you live in Chicago during the winter time, like. That's nature saying, don't be here, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it's a fucking and, nightmare there. But they tricked yeah, us into terrible. being there, because they said, here's YouTube, it's going to be this open group. All these yeah. platforms said, yeah. let's it, consolidate it, everything. Stop having your own website. Stop yeah. having your own yeah. brand page. Just come so, to us, and we'll handle rubbed. it all. And now we're trapped here, and there's no way so, to grow okay, off of these platforms. This kind of brings it back to the reaction the kids had towards me and many other things. Okay, I'm a Gen Xer. Yeah. And, um, a lot of... What would typify our generation if there were enough of us that we were ever remembered uh, is that it's, it's, it's a deep-seated degree of skepticism. Most of us were born in Watergate in the Vietnam War, uh, Iran-Contra. I mean, almost everything is like anything that might have looked kind of vaguely like sacrosanct for that to not be the case. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I grew up with 80s televangelists. You know, nothing seems genuine. That I, I guess the thing is, is like you felt comfortable there, Vito, saying like, "Well, they made us think it was going to be good." And I guess I'm, I, I feel you so caught up and torn about everything. Yeah. Like I look at, I look at life is like it's a con game, yeah. and you're either a mark or 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 you're the player in it. I was that, like 15. Like, I'm like, I can upload videos to a website, and I don't have to pay for hosting. And yeah. it seemed like a, a dream. And then they, they yeah. promise we're going to empower the next generation of creators. They paid for this idiot to make a live show. What a fucking mistake that Five was. Grand. Yeah, and uh, and then all of that went away, and all the money went away, and now it's just, uh, here's Jimmy Kimmel and a bunch of, I don't know, Coco yeah, Melon I, 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 I or whatever. I guess the thing is, my natural cynicism is like, that's what I would have assumed was going to happen from the get-go. Uh, you know, I don't they tricked want me. anybody to be hurt by something like that, but at the same time, it does sometimes strike me as like, wow, you guys weren't prepared for that, or you didn't see that coming. Uh, they always it, promise an of... indie revolution, and like us indie guys who are like working on the sides, and we were like, "Yeah, all right, cool, we're gonna make our own stuff." And then no, oh, fuck, you. fuck you, we don't want Wait, you. I want to well, you. Exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna, I hadn't <laughs> thought of this because that's the other thing that typifies old fucks like me. Is you know, I it was my freshman year of college when Nirvana's Nevermind came out. Yeah, you know, the indie music scene, and even them, it took about all of like. 10 minutes for it to immediately be co-opted labels to absorb <laughs> all of it yeah. yeah so that like like that 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 idea of pure independence like never resonated as having any legitimacy whatsoever uh that yeah i i, I and once again I, I think that's do you see how your people... go ahead sorry go uh do you see how your cynicism your generation's cynicism has driven all these zoomers into loving jesus so much like, do they you do? see that? Oh, they're the rise of like the old school religious right. I was born in 1980, so I remember I was right on the cusp of all this shit you're talking about. Right. The right, the uh, the puritanical right is coming back in a big way, baby. Oh, 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 they're coming back, but you're telling me that the kids. Gen Z kids, kids are yes. 
kids oh. are bringing it back. Oh, is it black Jesus or, or 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 plain Jesus? The whitest Jesus you ever seen in your fucking life. Yeah, Nick a, Fuentes and yes. whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, um, uh, I don't think those guys really love Jesus. I don't buy it. Whoever did. I think it's a fr- well, yeah. You know, they're u- using him to well, cash no, no, in no, on no, it. They need but, something. You know, I look at it differently. Maybe Jesus really was a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he really was into rape. That's very really, anti-Semitic really into of you. Women, being a racist, I've come to that conclusion. Speaking of which, I mean, is it Mel Gibson about to do the sequel to Passion of the Christ? He is two? number two. That's, so he I is? mean, right yeah. there. What happens it's in that like, one? Comes back. He's got a gun. Yeah. now. fights guys with oh, kung fu cool. and shit. You know what really oh. sucks is actually I've been trying to share it on the interweb today. Actually, we did a trailer for Passion of the Christ Two: Judgment Day. The year that uh, Passion of the Christ came out. Oh, you can't find the clip? Oh, you can't. Yeah. But it's, I was can. trying to share it. I, uh, my, I, 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 I linked it on my Twitter feed. We will uh, boost uh, that clip. People who are raised Catholic really, really find it funny. <laughs> I don't I, I don't find it as funny as a result. So. Well, do you want to do your problem, Vito? Uh, I'll knock it... my problem out real quick. Uh, yeah. Adam Sessler's problem is Adam Sessler. Adam Sessler's problem is yeah. Adam Sessler is the biggest problem. And no one universe. is giving me a good solution about how to get rid of me. Let us know... <laughs> <laughs> Send a super chat right now if you, you know break bad. how to get rid of Adam Go back Sessler. to your roots and go back to being like, I hate <laughs> fucking every. You got. A, you need a third act, man. You need a Revenge of the Jedi. <laughs> I can come move in with me for like a month and I'll train you like Rocky IV. Like, no, how fuck about, with me. Like, it's a Sessler fault. Three. How about this? Sessler 3, Season of the Bitch. And like yeah. my third act is just... Yeah. <laughs> whining and complaining about gamers. I mean, yes. I still want you to just have a YouTube channel where you just talk shit. I would watch it every day. Uh, if, if I but could that's do me. it without any effort on my part, I would do it. Well, Vito could help you with that. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'm AI, no effort. Like, I want an AI generated Adam. I want to be doing something else. Yeah, like, you want to be. Wanna, like, I like they playing have, games. That's coming. I don't want something that's eating into my gameplay. Let's right. make you a little virtual avatar, and you can just type out, ah, give me a rant about the gamers, and we'll knock it out of the park. Well, this is a problem that I thought uh, has been on my list for a while, and it came back today because I see on Twitter everybody is playing the not-mad game with Adam. Oh, and oh. I hate this fucking game. <laughs> the, geez, Adam, oh. why are you so mad? And then you go, I don't think I am mad. It seems like you're the one who is mad. And they go, well, I'm, I'm the most <laughs> not-mad that's ever existed. And this has become... You sound furious. This sounds like me. about 90% of internet discourse now is trying to decide who is the most mad in any given interaction, and then that person loses for some reason. Um, uh, it is exhausting and stupid, and I hate it. I can't have any discussion online about any like <laughs> any subject. I can go, man, I, I don't know. This doesn't look too good, or you know, hey, I what's, why are you so mad? Yeah, why are you so mad? Why does that bro? upset you so much? I go, well, I don't know if I'm mad. Man. I'm just kind of pointing out an issue in society. <laughs> it'll happen for the worst stuff. Why are you even responding to me? Look at how obsessed. <laughs> why did you even respond to me? Like, I mean, I, what is this? What was your comment for? Yeah, not be responded to. I don't understand. Adam, have you experienced any of the you're not mad, the the mad game lately? The I'm not oh, mad. Oh God, that's all. Of the things like, why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Uh, a yeah. lot of people are accusing you of having yeah. a meltdown and a freak out. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah, that like, one. It, okay, actually, I do have a question are they trying to bait me with that? I think or do they I actually s- think it. I can't, tell. I don't know. That's a good question. There's a I, lot, it's, really, it's like because you're trying to figure out how aware of themselves are they. I think like, I, some I of them stupidly out. just do believe it. I actually have an example uh, of this happened to another celebrity, uh, Jamila Jamil, who's on the She-Hulk show. Oh. And at one point, people were coming at her because a lot of people. Wait, who's, who's, who's she on the She-Hulk uh, show? T- 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 Titania, Titiana. Oh, she's so funny. Yeah, she's great. She's fine she's on the show. She's hysterical on that yeah. show. But a lot of she people. Trans- no, trans- she's not trans. She oh, says she's funny queer. Funny saying. <laughs> women aren't allowed to be funny <laughs> fuck you uh what do you call it there was this point where people were coming at her because she said i'm so excited to have been on she hulk and people are going well that show sucks and it's not going to get a second season blah 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 and her response was uh dude who cares i get to live my dream and be in a marvel project and go to yeah. events where i meet all my favorite marvel stars and talk to them about their movies and i got paid my cup is full so how's your life going and then all these 
got YouTube guys, the same guys go, did you see the freak out that Jamil had on Twitter? And I'm like, she said she only did it for the money and she doesn't care about okay, the fans. Remember? This yeah. goes back to every video is a review. Right. Every yeah. ad is a fedora. Every online action is a meltdown. And every beard slash is a Slash freak beard. out slash yeah. Okay, so I get that a lot, but the one I can't stand, honestly, are the ones who are like, Adam, man, I think you should step away. Yes. You're having a hard time. Adam, I hate to like, last this. night, somebody yeah. was doing that. It's like, shut up, go fuck a Buddha. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm really, I, it's like, I would like, you know, like, if I'm angry, let me be fucking angry. Well, that's it's, a very it's, it's good like, point. It's like they're lying. It's like, oh yeah, it's, it's like, oh, you're supposed to be better than that. <laughs> you know, like you, when, when when they go low, you go high. No, when they go low, I get down there and kick them in the dick. Uh, well, that's I what I don't understand. In the penis, is okay? why... like that. <laughs> well, you have like hundreds of trolls who are calling you a piece of shit and whatever else, and then you respond back and you go, no, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and they go, what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like no. Adam's really mad. I don't, I don't understand you the can step see away. The boy, mom, mom, <laughs> the internet said something to me. Yeah, I like yeah, stepping it's, away. It's, it's like that scene in Richard Pryor, the toy, when he doesn't want to be it anymore. That's a little. Uh, that's been a while that's since I've seen it. Really good. Adam, the toy. It's a really good. It's a one where the rich guy ta controls Richard Pryor. Is the rich kid? Yeah. He yeah. buys Richard Pryor for his son. It's a, oh, it's a dark, that's a dark, slave. dark like an Epstein movie. kind of movie. Uh, I, I like when people treat the internet like it's like like it's a championship sporting event, and you've injured yourself when you get mad. Like you got to step away. You got to step away from yeah, the game yeah. for a little bit. Go rehabilitate. Yeah. Go through rehab, and then come back stronger than it. Like what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, it's also like the complete delegitimization of anger. Like there's never any reason. If a bunch of people on the internet are calling you the F slur, I think it's okay to go. You know, this kind of ticks me off. I'm not in, but it's then yeah. you're supposed to be like, you can start no, angry. I'm fine. And this is great. Well, it's, 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 it's like everyone got raped by a copy of 300 or something like that. And they're like, barbarism is the only way to go. Don't show emotion. Jesus. Fuck it. Showing any emotion, yeah, is considered, we, even like in, mo in moments where you should. Definitely show emotion. Yeah. Like, there'll be, like, these stupid internet debates, and, like, some race realist guy will go, well, I just think Jewish people don't have souls. And the Jewish guy on the panel will go, that's a very offensive to me. And they're like, oh, he just <laughs> lost because he's upset because that guy said he didn't yeah. have a soul. And you're like, I would be pretty upset if a guy was legitimately arguing. But instead, we've reduced all the rules down to whoever gets no, mad you're, you're automatically right. loses. Because people except, are terrified of getting except shouted except at. Yes. It's yeah. okay when a hundred people get mad simultaneously. <laughs> no, because they're <laughs> in okay. the right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because like Trump rallies are just. Awesome. Just moments no. yeah. of emotional <laughs> cogency, like the world is never seen. I mean, oh, yeah. Man. There's like, a lot of furious anger up on that stage. Yeah. No, it's, it's, Trump's not mad. It's like a. He's fine. Well, the people in the some of the people, people get a little carried right? away. We're all fine. Do you think all your insurrectionist but, buddies uh, were you're doing having it. a good now time? You're, yes, they were all smiling, <laughs> kicking their feet up on the Pelosi's desk, yeah. smoking cigars. They were the most not mad. They were not mad at all. Yeah. All right. Fine. We don't care. Shut up. We don't care. You stole an election. It's no big deal. Well, everyone like knows that Antifa <laughs> is just looking to hug. It's true. <laughs> Everyone. Anyway, I think the not mad game, first of all, nobody's mad. And if they are mad, they probably have a good reason to be mad. We don't have to treat everything like a public freak out video of like some Karen freaking out at a register. That's kind of like part of the problem is that we've being anger is like shameful, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, a moment yeah. for public shaming. Yeah. But we need to respect that there are times. A, when a person probably isn't mad, or B, they have a right to be mad. Yeah. It's the complete delegitimization of anger, which is an important... There's a reason you feel anger. Like, it exists for a reason. It's not always negative. <laughs> Your wife, the girlfriend has been fucking around with you. The yeah. kids are going... If I ever saw a dad have a meltdown like that in public, I'd just give him, like, a... Big, Big thumbs, thumbs up. up, like that grizzly man look. Like, There's not enough naked take... ladies on your G4 reboot. There's lots of reasons <laughs> to experience furious anger. Anyway, uh, that's it's my a good problem. problem. Good problem for me. What a show. <laughs> what a half a show. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Well, that. I'm going to say we're going to put up the full see show. Part one, it makes so much more sense. <laughs> no, it all makes sense. <laughs> I, Adam, do you want, do you want you to so hear the Super Chats, Adam? Or uh, are you well, going to? Yeah, it's, 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 
Sure. Yeah, we're going to bring sure. up the Super Chats real quick. Okay. Uh, guys, we will upload the full episodes. You can is get that all of just Adam's chat comments. with the cape? What is the Super a, Chat? A super Chat is they can spend money to make us pay attention to the things they're saying. <laughs> yeah. And oh if God, they don't spend so... money, we don't oh, so read them. so it's like Twitter Blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on basically. a very small scale. Yes. I saw a bunch oh, of people. Can we the... just, just side thing. One thing I have learned uh, in the past few days is that gamers will pay the $8. Oh, yeah. It is amazing. Because they want to be important, as they are. Oh, they're but, the but, most important but, people in the world. But 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 they're not. I now know that they're really unimportant. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. We'll see. That's a lot of super chats. Talking we'll see. about them, though. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, can I read this super chat, or am I just at your mercy? Is there a way we can? I don't know if there's a way to have them read them. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. I'll read them to you. Face, don't worry about though, it. Though, if you. Yeah, I yeah. like my face more. Yeah, you put it, can too. you put it over me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, That'd whatever. Be... I'll just read them to you real quick. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see. If they're in, like, a really demeaning tone, let's see. All right, where are we? We're right here. All right, Dick, you also and I suck cocks from last episode, so I fucked that up. Sorry, Should guys. I... Should I do it? Do it. I fucked that I up. suck cocks. I, there you go. You Every got Every time it. Vito says, to be fair, we play him saying, I suck cocks. I'm not allowed to say TBF on this show. <laughs> and then they try to trick oh, me into saying it. Is that what TBF stands for? Yes. Well, I don't <laughs> know. That's what I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. And then Dick screwed it up again. Oh, no. Um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can extend it out. Yeah, but then it covers that. Right, Mike Hunt for five and Vito Voice. I don't have time to work out. What a 12 minute a week work or whatever. Legacy for 1999. Extended play was better than X play. What is extended play? Oh, that was the early version of the show that was awful, actually. Um, oh. Uh, it had nothing to do with me or Kate Patello. It was just you know, detecting these rules about like how we had to do content. Go back and watch them. We weren't allowed to show violence. You weren't game. allowed to show violence from the games? Yeah. We, from uh, after Columbine, which was... 99? 99, was it? I think 99 till 2003. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Things got a little messed it, up. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> so humans shooting humans. Oh, so you was, could use humans shooting aliens and whatever? Yeah, but once again, we still had to kind of massage around it. Uh, <laughs> that's how I learned editing. That's interesting. Things got yeah. really dumb right after that. Columbine wow, that really sucks. screwed up a lot well, of let's stuff. Let's not show any people shooting people. What? <laughs> Why? Why is that yeah. going to help? <laughs> uh, you want to just read the Adam ones? Yeah, let me just go to the go Adam back ones. Through? We'll okay. go back through. Uh, let's see. I take it you're not going to read this not one. Not going to read that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh, go down. To, uh, hold on. Vito is shaking that I got Adam Sessler on in the first 40 <laughs> minutes. We're not live. I am a little. I do think you're pissed. I think not, you've been pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm mad at myself. Cause I'm I, mad at you too. I should have checked. It's my fault. Vito, you know, for what it's worth, I cannot tell you how many times I know I did the perfect take, and they're like, "Shit, didn't we didn't roll the camera." Yeah, yeah. but I do so that. So at man. the very least, you were you're gonna be able to serve it up. <laughs> at so least we had it recorded. Yes. Yeah. Thank God for Riley. Honestly, thank God for Riley. Texted me. He didn't call. He should have called. But thank oh, God, for Riley. Uh, oh my God. I think it was good because we came in right when Adam started talking. It we... is true. We did hit right on Adam, so we only missed your stupid problem, which is fine. That boy, Mikey, for five. Dick is one of the problems ever. I agree. Pace pod five. My name is Dick, Mister Dumb, and I'm very smart. I know who FBI agents are, but I can't start a live stream. I eat poop. I agree with that. Uh, uh, Legacy. Is he a gamer? That, that was kind of a gamer thing. <laughs> that might be a gamer. He's just Bobby. gay. I, th I think that's a gamer. All right, let's see. So Sessler says Slav Nikki for five. Are you saying that journalists capitalize on negativity like some kind of reverse shit posting? You actually speaking changes my perspective. So do you think journalists capitalize on negativity? I would think so. They're always reporting yeah, on negative advertising capitalizes human negati on negativity and everything Close. else. Yeah. I mean, they report. <laughs> I'm scrolling. Is this a revelation? Yeah. Here, let me just scroll it. Oh, here, here, here. Yeah, I don't think. I think that's pretty well known. That was the last time you saw an article saying, fuck yeah, games are great. Uh, Black. <laughs> Black Phillip for 10. Oh, yes. Yes. Know. Please, please. Says, please do the Go Frost clap. I, 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 what do you think about that? <laughs> oh, meme? that's so funny. Yeah. The, the one where I go like that. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I see what's so funny is I had done that before many times, and it's my overdone version you do of that. the Charles Foster Kane clap. 
Oh, from from Rescue Me. You're doing Citizen Kane? <laughs> yeah. Where if you... No, You're if doing you... a bit. You're doing a fucking bit. <laughs> now, the thing is, if you really wanted to try to read into it, which was not the intention when yeah. I did it, do you know the scene that Charles Foster Kane does that in? When his, uh, we do, uh, what's her name? Explain it. When his girlfriend is singing the opera and she's not doing it well. Yeah, I but know. But you know, because of his wealth and power, he's trying to turn her into a star. I mean, I wasn't even making that connection in my head. <laughs> I hope you weren't. Well, I hope was. you weren't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> but it's like, that's a meme. It's a, it's a, and then it became the seal clap, and I couldn't even figure out. I thought we liked seals as a as a group of people, but apparently no I'm seals. This is mad. such a revelation. It is kind of a revelation. Oh, um, that's all I was thinking about with the oh, clap yeah. the whole time. I have no idea that that's that's amazing. See, yeah, maybe I, but I was never gonna explain it. One thing I don't like doing is explaining myself. If I screw up, I'll own it. Yeah. So if everyone thought it was a seal clap and they didn't get the reference, that's on me. And so I was, I never corrected the record on that one. Uh, that is a this... very obscure reference, Adam. That obscure? Yeah. It's Citizen Kane. Guess what? I'm Adam fucking Sessler. <laughs> <laughs> I am the obscure reference. I know the exact scene he's talking about. I'm right. irrelevant and obscurely referenced. You're the biggest problem in the universe. Vote it yes, up on God. the site. Well, Brian David agrees with you. you and you'll never know who did it. Brian David for five says, Video games are for children. Read Animal Farm like an intelligent adult. <laughs> oh. So... Uh, you, you have an agreement there. Thank you for coming on. Mr. Sessler says Evan like for two. <laughs> Black Phillip for two says Vito seems nervous to see Dick respond to Adam. Yeah, because I don't know what you're going to fucking say. I love him. I, I, don't, agree with your, I don't agree you with your politics. You probably felt my nervousness. I was like, I don't know this dude. And where? Yeah. Well, I'm always it's worried like, that our guests afterwards are going to go, what fucking show did I go on? Who were those morons? Yeah. That's no, a good. Good. valid concern. Smart people who aren't me that actually have like press people, like that's where the press person's like, oh God, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, luckily you don't have a PR agent to answer to. You can have fun. No. Yeah, but you know Andrew Dice Clay from back in the day, so you'll you will think what you I'm doing is it. cute in comparison. <laughs> you don't do enough nursery rhymes. <laughs> Matt Barr for five. Adam Sessler is the best guest in the universe. Great show, fellas. Is Evan, he better than Salvo? Yeah, what's, what's he doing saying night oh? I don't know, but Evan Like for two says, don't listen to that guy. Sessler sucks. Well, all right. We got two different opinions there. Black Phillip for five says the only positive reaction is Griffin by making YouTube videos. Yes. Okay, now Peter R says, Dick, you are losing your reputation defending this absolute turncoat. Oh. He unsheaths his sword of cuckoldry oh and defends Milady on the regular. Tip your fedora, Adam. Do you, fin do you defend Miladies, Adam? No, but I do put my jacket down when there's mud so they can cross over it without upsetting their ankles. Evan Like says, Sessler is not a gamer. He's a person of play. I agree with that. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. that's actually good. <laughs> that person of play. Yeah, you could use that. Uh, Peter R., again, Adam, <laughs> despite your simping, Frost was never going to sleep with you. Did you a favor? Oh, my God. I can't read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Loft oh, the, 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 the other thing is, it, it, not so much for that comment, but for the ones that try to talk about things that are of a sexual nature. Insinuating if, you've if, done if you something. you haven't done it, yeah. you might not want to throw those insults around. It's just, it's just like the kids who are trying to make the drug cracks. You're saying it's there's like, some virgins out there all talking the smack. All kind of hanging out in that moment. Well, all it you angry virgin wearable. incels, <laughs> this is your last chance to get a super chat in. Uh, Lofty Pixels for 10 says, how to get rid of Adam Sessler. Tell him to write a positive tweet about Hogwarts Legacy with a picture of him playing it. Oh, yeah. Will you play Hogwarts that? Legacy? So Hogwarts Legacy, this is the one. You and I were chatting about this on Twitter, right, Fido? We might this have been. Because it's attached to J.K. Rowling. Because it's attached to J.K. Rowling, I think people she's are- She's got those fairly noxious things. Sure. Look, here's, here, here's the thing. About, like, the whole Harry Potter thing? I fucking just hate Harry Potter. I'm an adult who, like, hey, I was an adult when these books came out. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw all of one of the movies because that cool Mexican director directed it. I don't even remember which one it was. Um, I know, I, I mean, it just... I don't know. I'm, I'm really of two minds. Oh, look, J.K. Rowling sounds like an absolute turd sandwich. But this whole, like, I don't know, these, these cultural contests around 
products can become so wearisome when there's actual boots on the ground shit that can be accomplished. I always go, that- why are you wasting your time? Like, yeah, okay, uh, you don't like what she says, but like, there's actual legislators out there pushing anti-trans legislation yes, thank you. That's, who I that's, never that's, hear about. Or that's that's what it, yeah. exactly. It's like pick you know, a battle, and I think the stupidest battle is to go to people and go, "Stop reading this chi- children's book yeah. from like twenty years ago." <laughs> I go, I don't think that advances but, your but cause also, meaningfully. Isn't that the Streisand effect? I mean, don't then don't you just New Balance? The then book? people do want to play the game, and they go, "Well, if you tell yeah, me I can't play I, I just, it, it's like I don't I, know." Also, the people who you're trying to shame are grown adults. Who really shouldn't be playing a Harry Potter game in the first place? Fair enough. Yeah. For yeah. reasons that have nothing to do with J.K. Rowling. They already it's like, make bad decisions. Grow the fuck <laughs> up. Like I remember right before like Trump was about to get elected, only people could seem to only understand it in Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter terms. <laughs> Not that the world is sucking anything terms. It's like it's like my God, what is wrong with the millennial people? It's like it's just like you could like everything has to go through this strange sieve. We're just, like it's like oh well now that you put it in Frodo verse I, I like I, I realized things might be at stake Jesus Christ grow up well I'm, I'm yeah, just pissed on. because Get we were right lawn. we were right about to erase women and then J K Rowling has to come in and start protecting her gender oh my God we we almost had you. Women, we yeah, almost had you erased. a conundrum for you folks. You don't know where to come down on that one. I do. <laughs> yeah. I never thought of it that way. That's kind of... I mean, the whole thing strikes me as a little on the jesus side to begin with. So, I mean, there's just issues there. I'll tell you my take on Harry Potter is that it came right... It, it was kind of a post-Columbine thing, was that it was the ultimate escapist fantasy for young people. Oh. Because Harry Potter is not human. He discovers that he belongs to a completely different race that is disconnected from the human world. At the end of the book, he doesn't go, I'm going to return to my human life. He goes, no, I will forever remain in the wizard world. I am a wizard. Yeah. And it was basically kids being like, I wish I belonged to a different class of human. Isn't, isn't that the Holy Trinity? That, what, the, in the Bible? Yeah. Is that the Holy Trinity? Is that well, you know, it's yeah, it's part of I you, mean, the ghost I of God. Show here. So I'm I I I understood it. Is that he becomes a ghost and then haunts Christians forevermore. Yeah, that's about like right. Casper, but more in favor of hurting people. I just think a more traditional children's media had always you you still had a human character experiencing fantastical things where Harry Potter was the first true alien escapism of what if you belong to a better race than the human race? I, and he doesn't go back. That never had to return That's there. Yeah. Fucking demented. It is really oh sick. My, okay, you know what? Why people waited until hmm. J.K. Rowling went anti trance to have an issue with this is now sounding weirder and I think the moral at the heart of Harry Potter is, like, fundamentally flawed is that they have special powers or whatever, and you're like, so you're going to go, like, tell, like, the humans who are researching cancer, like, it's possible to make fire come out of your hands? No, literally (laughs) fuck the human race (laughs) is the moral of Harry Potter. When when I was 11, like, you kind of outgrow most of the kids' books that were around my time, so I, like, kind of started reading, like, James Bond books or science fiction stuff, but there was, like, a lot of raw sex that I wasn't expecting. Like, oh, oh, remember, I, I found my parents' copy of The Godfather. Oh, page 42. Good stuff in there. Sonny Corleone starts doing it with one of the bridesmaids. And, like, <laughs> I yeah. learned some new words that day. <laughs> but you motherfuckers are just reading about the boy wizard that becomes the that becomes magical a magic ghost fairy. alien ghost fairy yeah. 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 Like, and never no returns wonder. to his human roots. Literally, oh my God. and he comes from like a, a human family, and they're all like a Walmart people. pieces of shit. Yeah, like, <clears throat> like yeah, they're like white called rumpuses or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah, uh, they call uh, if you don't have magic, you're called a muggle. And you're like disdain. F- they have a huge a disdain. Yeah, it's a huge slur for slurred. humans. Yeah, and the book kind of goes like, "Oh, we shouldn't be mean to muggles," but they clearly think of us <laughs> as pieces of shit. Like Harry Potter has some weird. Well, it sounds like they can kind of kill us on a whim. Yes. So they are superior. And in yet J.K. Rowling says, "No, they're the true victims. They're in no, hiding." They're like a, a, a Lovecraftian god. And you go, what, like were you Cthulhu, guys, "What were you guys doing but... during World War II?" And they're like, "We had our own thing going on." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Oh, so Didn't they're like the intervene. Vatican. That's yeah, basically. What you mean. Yeah. They oh, okay. I refused get it. to interfere in the realm of men. Yeah. It doesn't work. With the Swiss. They have time travel, the wizards, and they uh, only really? use it for yes. They they have 
literal time travel uh, charms, and they only use it so students can travel back in time and take more courses. Yeah. I'm like, you could literally reverse whatever. It's it's a it's a children's book. Let's be real. Uh, yeah. Peter R for two says you don't sex. Comedy gold from Adam, everyone. I'm sorry. Peter, Peter really you, should, Peter. Come you on. should send more stuff to say. Uh, <laughs> you're going to skip super chill. Let's see. James no, Gardner gonna... says you guys are the best and cocaine is fun. So he agrees there with us. Goes. Good. Kids, don't do cocaine. Please. Don't do cocaine unless you're in L.A. Do and you have it. stuff you need to get done. Like but that like, actually, Didn't Gwyneth Paltrow do split? She just made some interesting quote. Where she was pointing out that light before cell phones is that she could just do cocaine in any bar in New York City, didn't have to worry about it. Oh, and, and now I was she like, gets you know what? That's the old that I had a huge crush on. <laughs> that's that's her. Legacy for two says everyone hates gamers, but what about game oz? Gamas? Gamas? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Captain Blackbread oh, for ten. I the biggest it. problem is VTubers and the people that like them. There's nothing wrong with that. What's uh, the V? In VTuber. VTuber is when virtual, you have a little, it? yeah, virtual. Video. It's when instead of you, you have a webcam that makes you into an anime person. Have you seen those oh. people? You've seen that. But yeah, they're called they, fabricators. No, they had them on G4 on that, uh, what do you call it? That ball pit oh, show. Oh, like, like, like uh, Miko Nico. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever, Guar Guar yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Koo for five says, thank you all for not killing yourselves. Nice hat, Vito. Sig, Zeon, absolutely. Oh. And, uh, all right, well, we'll go through the rest of these later. Yeah. Uh, Drunken Atheist Studio for Five says, I worked at AMC when Passion of the Christ came out. People would sit in the theater after the credits like it was their own personal <laughs> church. I did not, I did not ever, I didn't see Passion of the Christ until years later. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen that or Avatar. It's crazy. I feel like they're the same. He made he made the devil look like Obama. Like there's it, the devil in it. Yes, the devil really? shows up. Yeah, and he's like he's like a thin black guy who like clearly was cast to look like Obama. Uh, and like that's... Jesus is getting whipped the shit out of. And there's Obama devil going yeah. Well, it's like that's that's the the <laughs> but, well, here's the interesting thing about Mel Gibson is that especially in movies he directed, uh, but even once he didn't direct, go look how much he gets tortured in very explicit ways. I think he's had this messiah. He really gets in uh, going off, yeah. for yeah. a long, long time. It's interesting. I mean, I, I've seen what Apocalypto. That had that was some, good. That was good. He wasn't. That was a pretty cool movie, actually. I like that. Yeah, he directed that. Wait, what? What is, does? Is he? Back? Those damn cops hadn't arrested him. Those fucking cops <laughs> messed it all up. He could have come out with so many great movies. <laughs> Apocalypto too. Well, well, but, 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 the one that Jodie Foster directed him in with the um. With the puppet? The beaver? Puppet? I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, one. it's him and the beaver. I did see that, but I didn't I didn't remember any parts of it. I love how like, you see that, but not that. <laughs> Bacon is here <laughs> for two. That's kind of fucking awesome. Dude. I just once once like once like ten people tell me I gotta see something, there's just no Wait, way. Did I'm you say you haven't seen Avatar? Yeah, I'm not I, as well, as it's like, not worth it. I haven't seen the new one, but I saw that first one. I had a panic attack because I didn't realize that Michelle Rodriguez was in it until the very end. And then I wondered if I had blacked out at some point during the movie <laughs> that she had been in it. The girl uh, from Alien, I guess, too? My, my, my 3D glasses weren't working great. And so I also, uh, like, spent a lot of it wondering if I had cataracts and if I needed to have <laughs> surgery and how that might affect my game playing. So, yeah, I, I didn't see this. I'll people. say this about Avatar 2 is uh, – it's the kind I look at that movie and I go, if this had come out like ten years ago, yeah. it would be like the ultimate cultural sensation. Uh. But it's like almost too earnest for like this generation. Like it's too hopeful. I can see that. Oh, yeah. It I doesn't can, have I, I like can see that. it has way too much of like this Holly Hollywood like you know, we just got to yeah. be a family, and, like, we got to protect each other. And I'm like, kids Fuck today you. just fucking hate everything. Yeah. They're going to go, nah, this is stupid. Well, they should. And they should. It's they true. Hate, We've exposed all that. Because everything hates the kids. Yeah. It was, it was weird just... to see something that, like, hopeful and magic or whatever. And it felt like yeah. a Harry Potter in the same vein of, like, what if everything was magic and we all, there was a magic tree and everyone was blue and could could swim, would swim everywhere. And you're like, all right, all I right, don't care James about Cameron, that. Jesus fucking Christ. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I felt like this is great, but I'm too old for this shit because I know it's, you want me to live in this magic world that I know is a lie, yeah. and I can't embrace the lie. I can't live in Pandora with you mm -hmm. and fight the evil men from space who come to take our resources or whatever. I will say, uh, what's her name? Uh, the chick from Alien. 
Uh, oh, Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. She, do you know who she plays in Avatar 2? She plays a 14-year-old Avatar who's like the daughter of her scientist character from the previous oh, movie. And me and my buddy it. were both like, that was like the most incredible performance I've ever seen. Wait, wait. Is it still her voice? It's still her voice. She did uh-huh. all the mocap, and but she's playing a 14-year-old Avatar girl. And I'm like, holy shit, this is like better acting. I'm like, does anyone fuck well, the... I remember, well, that's the other problem. Is we're both the like... first Avatar <laughs> came out, I got to interview Sigourney Weaver. And that's one of the few times where... I was, it's not like I lost composure, but I love that voice so much. And that was Ripley. Dude, her... And her, yeah. I just... I, it was like... I was just like, it was. It really was one of those few moments of shock where I had to kind of like reorient myself in the course of the interview. Dude, her performance in Avatar 2, and I don't even know if you call it a performance because it's CG or whatever, but both me and my buddy, uh, Mr. Girl, were like, I was just like completely entranced by this. Like, she basically is, they're kind of shaping her up to be like the Jesus of the Avatar people, and she's like a magic oh, girl or whatever. Okay. Which should be corny and stupid. And for some reason, Sounds I'm just stupid. like, if anyone hurts fucking 14 year old Blue Sigourney <laughs> Weaver, I'm going to kill him. Leave that beautiful, pure hearted girl alone. Uh, so. It's kind of worth seeing for that. Bacon is here for two. Somebody please clip Vito's anti-Harry Potter rant. Farfic Nugan, Adam, thank you for making this show fantastic. I agree. <laughs> That's not what and it says. And Underground Flex for five. <laughs> says, I was skeptical there. I was like, no. But no. Underground Flex for five did say thank you for coming on, Adam, with, yeah, with, with, a, with a heart. Right. Adam, do you have anything you want to plug, anything going on, or are you just going off and enjoying yourself, it sounds like? Yeah, uh, if there's anything I'm going to plug, it's probably my absolute and enduring contempt for gamers. And where do we hear about that? On Twitter? That's the only place you're going to fucking hear it. I until, think guys... until Captain Elon boots me. Follow uh, uh, at yeah. Adam Sessler on Twitter to hear about why the gamers are trash. Yeah. Yeah. They are trash. Well, it's because some they're of them stupid. Are. <laughs> Just a, it's a spoiler alert. It's because they're stupid. I think they need to find a better identity than gamer. I think you need to yeah. subdivide. Like yeah. Be an eater. Be an eater. Be an eater. Oh, I'm an eater, baby. I've been an eater my whole life. <laughs> Do you remember when they were like, oh, video games are art? Like, when was that, the 90s? That was when I was like, no, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Video games are art, some, no. but some sometimes wrong. they get things wrong. That's a whole other bag of worms. Oh, okay, oh, sure. Some Ooh, games I'm out of can approach art. Some games take it way too seriously. Have fun with your art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Dick I, I plays know, Final think... Fantasy VII. And he goes, "Why aren't Tifa's boobs bigger?" Which yeah. I, I understand your gripe. That's art, but you enjoy the story. No. No, you're only skip, there. Skip, skip, skip. I get yelled at. You're not Why skipping, are you skipping the story? Are you story? skipping the story when you play Final Fantasy VII? Not Final Fantasy VII, only because of Tifa was in only there, but every other game. Fair mm. enough. Not Red Dead Redemption 2. A- Adam, are you playing any games right now? Yeah, I'll be playing, uh, uh, I always forget the name of it, Jedi Fallen Order. I, gotta, I, haven't yeah, been, like, I still haven't beat that one. It's the worst title game. It's really good. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It, 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 it holds up. It's funny. I played so many more Souls games since I played this one. The, since I played the yeah. first uh, Jedi game. It's well, that was going to be my like, next question because that... uh, I was a big Souls guy, and then playing Fallen Order, uh, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a light Souls game. Oh yeah. But then I was like, well, now I just want to go play Souls games. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, I, I think it's the the I mean the 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 lightsaber gameplay. Yeah, like that's the sword cool. on sword that you get to do there is better than mm. anything you're going to get in the Souls game because it's not really that kind of. Right. I mean, it's similar, but it doesn't do that. Uh, and like, I'm not even the biggest Star Wars fan, but like being able to see that done so elegantly uh, is cool. And obviously, there's a sequel coming out in about a yeah, month. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm actually so. kind of excited for the sequel because the first game. Yeah. Are they going to cram a woman into it? <laughs> there already are women in it. Fuck you. Yeah, I think they actually <laughs> wrote one into it. It's, they, they, they wrote one. Uh, into it yeah i think there was actually a controversy because like the studio made the main character like a white guy and a bunch of people at the studio were like oh don't we have enough white guy protect I don't uh, know. yeah because of that character with the red hair is that yeah. a harry potter kid no that's, he's I, from shameless isn't he that actor is that an actual actor yeah that they that's like what him. he looks like it's the kids from shameless not yeah. the redhead from he the, does the voice. harry potters oh, i didn't even realize yeah. he was You're a real right. person yeah well, now I know. Yeah. I tried to play that game, but I fell off too many cliffs and I quit. I never. 
They have an easy mode, uh, Dick. But I gotta yeah, admit that I suck at video games. All right. Anything else? Oh wow! The internet told me I do too. <laughs> We should set up. We should set up a gaming Suck competition. Off. See who's, who's good. worse at this game. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. Well, you guys, you can find Adam on Twitter <laughs> at Adam Sessler. Adam, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Adam. Uh, oh, that was okay. a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. We on. had a blast, uh, and hopefully, the internet. I think we'll, is going to learn to love you. Good luck with your third act. <laughs> <laughs> don't threaten me, man. Don't threaten me. I don't want that. No. I, I, I love you, though. I, I think a lot of people just take all this too seriously. It's like you're Fuck you're yeah. trolling people on Twitter, which is what I love to do. Yeah, it's fun. And I get the same yeah. amount of shit because yeah. I love it. It's fun. I yeah. can't, Twitter's not real, real life. It's like I'm not hiding the fact, and they're still not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Although you do sound <laughs> mad. You do sound mad, Adam. Are you mad? I don't sound mad. I'm mad. I'm way less I am mad. mad. You're more mad than I've ever been. But I'm, but I'm like mad crazy. <laughs> mad crazy. You're nuts. Dick, you anything else? Dog. No, no, no. That's Can we it. let Adam thank go? You. Thank yeah, you, Adam. Thanks, Enjoy Adam. yourself. Right. We'll catch up. Cheers, thank you cheers. so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. Bye. Wow, the great Adam Sessler uh -oh. is there here. The show is still live, thankfully. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, man! All right, are we gonna have uh, are we gonna have that conversation? <laughs> what the conversation where I get one of the best guests we could ever have at this point in time, and you don't set the show live? Uh, get your super chats in, fellas. While we look, oh <laughs> god, a lot of things to do today. Oh my god. And everybody's in the chat going, well, I guess it's not going to happen. I should just you leave. You usually read the chat, though. No, I don't. You usually have it kind of up, don't you? That was. Oh, my God. Came in at, at a good point. It did come in at a good point. I think you know they got most of what was going on. Uh, but he was saying such incendiary things about the, the gamers that, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to get the full context. I know. I'll upload it right when we're done. All right. Well, let's go through the rest of the Super Chats. Here, you want me to scroll it so you don't have uh, to uh, yeah, worry sure. about it? Makes your life easier. I mean, not really, because then I can go. Well, do it. Okay. Well, Mike Hunt for five. In veto voice, I don't have time to work out. What's a 12-minute-a-week workout? That must be a scam. Just say you won't work out. Okay. I won't work out, <laughs> but I might work out. Uh, Mint Salad for 20 asks, Vito, are you going to watch and review Velma? If not, can you watch my review of it? Spoiler, so far it's very bad on funny. Tumblr girl humor that, that sucks. sucks. Everyone, go on over to ASE Presents to check out Mint Salad's review of Velma. Maybe I'll review it. We'll see what's happening. Patrick Boo for two says, I can do better and I can drive. I don't know what that means. Legacy for five, biggest problem in the universe, Adam Sessler or a child molester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say H. We didn't read that one to Adam. I felt insulting. <laughs> Legacy for five says, imagine paying uh, five bucks of real money to type this. I cannot. You didn't pay. You Slav paid $4.99. Kai, yeah, well, Slav Kai Niki, I think when the show started, puts effing finally. <laughs> Lofty Pixels for mm. five says, Biden's garage was more entertaining than the last 30 minutes. Mm. Evan Like for five says, this is a bigger Butterfingers than when Sean deleted an episode. I mean, no, yeah, with all, no, that, no. with all that advanced promo and people going, still, I can't believe. It still believe. started. It still came in. I hate you. Uh, Legacy for four ninety nine. The thousand yard stare in Vito's eyes after finding out the stream wasn't live. You were pissed. Uh, I wasn't pissed. I was pissed at myself. I'm not pissed at you. Everybody makes mistakes. I just felt like it was my fault because I always and you I'm do going to always say, "Are we live?" In the future, and I miss it. In half the, the future, time. I'm going to say, "Dick." Put, uh, this is why don't I, I just put it always go live when I start streaming? Because no, that's how my show works. So I have to think about it extra. Shut on this. up. Just every time, just put the chat on the side, and I can read the chat. And then the chat will say if there's any audio issues, if there's any whatever the fuck, if it's not live. Okay, I want the chat. mess with you. Get, I don't care. And maybe get a second monitor to put the chat on if we need to. A second fucking monitor. Wherever. We need, I want the chat live. Yeah, then but they then can you tell can't see something what goes we're wrong. usually looking at stuff over there. Like we had Adam Sessler's face over there. It's just got to be in a tiny little corner, and then I can read it. All right. I'm not mad. 
just disappointed. I'm with Sherpa Five says, how does the band Ween factor into this discussion? Was that the Nirvana stuff? I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Dwab Winkle for 20 says, I know I brought this to your attention before, but money is super tight. I forgot to unsubscribe to your Patreon again. I enjoyed oh. the bonus episode, but would really like it if you gave me back the $5. It'd be a huge help. He spent $20 to wait, send wait, us wait, that wait, message. Wait, 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 wait. Read that again. I forgot to unsubscribe. I enjoyed the bonus episode. No, he didn't really put like a TBF, you idiot. Huh. Why do you pay $20 to get $5? Because he's fucking with us. He sent this message like last week. Oh. It's a bit. Oh, thank it's you. It's a great keep bit doing the bits. that Good. I want you to keep <laughs> doing for $20. Black Phillip got his Go For Us clap, surprisingly. Dude, that's the... That puts so much more in perspective. But if he's... Do that's what was confusing. I'm like, wait, if you're saying that you're doing the Citizen Kane clap, that means she's floundering up you there. You don't need to ask that part, though. <laughs> Uh, I wish we could have dug. Uh, I didn't want to like scare him off, you know. With what? Just I'm. I find all the G4 stuff interesting, but I don't want to like throw any of his co-hosts under the bus or anything like that. Oh, what do you mean though? What were you gonna? You wish you could know. ask Honestly, him. Honestly, I could have just talked to him for hours about it. You know about what they were G4? thinking, what was going mm -hmm. on. Uh, but maybe we can have him back on at some. Pretty point. Pretty interesting. It is. I find it endlessly interesting when a bunch of people throw money at a project and don't seem to know what they're doing. And the money is just bleeding. Of course, you go do interviews. You promote the show. I think Frost right? should have done. Uh, inter I, I, mean, I specifically said, "Listen, for. I'll be very open." And because, as I've said, look, man, I get it. If you're a girl playing video games, you don't want a bunch of guys yelling, "Hey, let me see that snooch!" You know, when you're just trying to enjoy some Call of Duty, I get it. Uh. All right, it's just like most people tuned into that network wanting to see like a Morgan Webb shaking her tits, and instead they got a lecture from. A lady with a nose ring, which is fine. I think they wanted more fighting, but she just didn't you know deliver what? on the fighting. They could have they could have just went full heel and done the fighting. Who yeah. knows? I think there might be room for that. Legacy for two says we need a Patreon goal to make Adam co host. I agree. Uh let's see. <laughs> uh the only positive reaction. Okay, Dick from Rydog for five. Yeah. I know you like making fun of Lex Friedman, but I went to Drexel and it's not that terrible of a school. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is Drexel? Is That's that the where school Lex he went to? went to his undergrad. Is that like just he never mentions it, though. He only mentions, he only mentions MIT, MIT for some odd reason. Usually people have both in their bio. Well, uh, if they have Mint any. Salad for 20 says, Video games are from ch for children. That's a quote from famous Italian YouTuber Tony from Hack the Movies. Yeah. So Tony also hates the gamers. Peter R., who kept trying to eat at Adam <laughs> for five, says, I love Adam's missing teeth. I wish I could claim credit for creating that gap there. Oh. Would be a dream to have hit points against a Frost de defender. My See, God. See, it, uh, it makes it so unfun to make fun of her when it becomes this, like, mob of people doing, like, I wish I could have punched you I wish you could have punched her in the like, face. Oh, yeah, guys. I mean, all right, it's a lady, like, uh, it's annoying. We're but. losing the fun. Drunken Atheist Studio for two says, I'm a zenial, divorced from Gen X and millennials. What is? I what don't a Zoomer know. thing to say. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Uh, I do agree with Lofty that if, uh, I wonder if Adam would be able to re talk about Hogwarts Legacy. And that's one of the things people are saying, are we going to get Gamergate 2.0 now that, like, are these outlets going to fairly report on a Harry Potter game, or do they all have to just go, it hates trans people, zero out of ten? Yeah. We'll see. It's going to be put yay right into the White House. <laughs> I don't know about that. Jason McFarland for two says, Sessler wants to purge gamers from his socials. <laughs> the Gentleman's Sausage for five says, bro tip, if you get mad, you lose, but if you call the other guy's opinion Reddit, then you automatically win. Uh. So just call them Reddit and then get mad. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> Pete Tong for five says, I'm late. Did Cocaine Grandpa explain why his audio is so bad for a pioneer of the work from home movement? <laughs> we got audio a, was If bad. he comes back on, we're buying him a mic. Uh, he could probably afford a mic. Yeah. Get a Yeti. blue Yeti. Uh, yeah, for God's sake. Regardless, I'm glad we had him on. Uh, let's see. Evan Like for 20. So you're going to skip Super Chats when the expectation has been to you read You didn't read them. that other one from James Gardner. You guys are the best, and cocaine is fun. Well, he said it. TBF, $20. <laughs> I thought he already read that one. I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think you need to try harder, TBF. Yeah, nice try, Evan. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, ASC Presents, you speak the truth, true. I'll call next time. But I suck cocks. I got accustomed to the 5, 10 minute if you know attendance delays oh. lately. Yeah, call, Riley, call. If you're going to text, call. Uh, if I say on Twitter the show's going live now, that means I'm trying to set it live. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, uh, whoops. 
Peter R. for five says, I can't say Matty, you dick. I never thought I'd say this, but this makes me miss Mr. Girl. You guys. <laughs> Bacon is here. Says, somebody please clip Vito's anti-Harry Potter rant. I want to make that video. I've been meaning to make how Harry Potter ruined a generation. Because it literally taught a group of kids to fantasize about abandoning their human ways and embracing an alien culture uh, that no longer, that has yeah. nothing to do with humanity and, in fact, despises humanity. But and that's a good thing. It depends on how you go with it. Uh, it's Jeff, the only way to escape this age of anxiety we live in where there's so much bad news that you have to care about every little thing is to just divorce your humanity from them entirely. Slav Kai Nikki for two. Good show outside of Vito fucking up. That is not my fault, but it kind of is. Here, look. I'm going to put this up. It's not going to help. Yeah, it's it going to blend into the background, and then you'll forget about it. Ah, maybe it will <laughs> you help. You can try. <laughs> you made a go live uh, uh Poster. Uh, DJ K says for 20 says Vito went with Mr. Girl to see Avatar. I guess he is a PDF file. Now we saw it separately, but he encouraged me to see it. Uh, Saying it was so good. Buck Cube for two. Vito go to Gamer Jail. Legacy donates $50 <laughs> and demands a call to prayer. Dick. What do you think? Are we oh, <laughs> oh, oh, all you gamers oh, are oh, trash. Oh, no oh, more gamers. Oh, oh. Frosk. Frosk. <laughs> Mesa Frosk. <laughs> You are worse. Well, you are worse than a deck. Than a store bought deck. That has no uh, radiant Pokemon uh, or GX Pokemon that only has a one, two, three normal Pokemon in it. You are worse than this deck. Not no even GXs. new store. No GX at all. Oh my god. Only maybe has a Celebi. God or only You're playing is way too much Pokemon count. cards with your nephews, I swear to God. You are worse than this. You are worse than this, Miss Frosk. G Force is worse than no. this. Oh, Frosk is wonderful. She told the gamers that they are scum, they are trash. Worse than a worse than even the punch out of hit point trackers that come with the deck. You are the punch out of hit point trackers that come with the deck. Not even real hit point counters damage, you are. Damage counters, Dick. Not, hit Not point even damage counters. counters you are. Wouldn't even save. Don't punch them out. Throw it straight into the garbage you are. See, I don't play modern Pokemon cards, so I guess I'm just at a loss. What you are, Miss Frosk, you are even worse. You are the even we this love deck Frosk. without Frosk is great. Without the computer search and the Professor Oak that come with such deck <laughs> even mixed in. Allah throw praise to Frosk. Throw them in the trash. Great Frosk. Allah blesses you. All right. Thank Goodbye, you so much. Everybody. What a show. Get the full show. <laughs> Uh, coming to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the bonus episodes at patreon.com slash biggest problem. And let's see our top supporters for oh, last yeah. month real quick. Uh, uh, don't forget the biggest problem 2022 is now available on our Patreon. And I want to thank, of course. Backed by two. What's that? Backed by biggest problem. Oh, thank backed you. by. Yeah. crypto. Backed dot by, right? Yeah. yeah. And by is BY. Uh, yeah. Back dot by uh -oh. slash a lot of problems biggest problem. Now. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, I think people will get there. Uh, yeah. You can back by, you can back us and not have Patreon take a cut. And yeah, Dick no knows cuts. more about it than me, but uh, I'm excited. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for coming by.